Yes! Oh! <laughs> what? Whoa. No way, dude, another one! Oh, I got a gun on here. Holy cow, that's a 50 cal. This is an AR-15 barrel. Good weight. No way! <laughs> no way, Danny's just found a gun. What is that? It's another boot. No way, he found another boot. Dude, Ooh. that is a bomb. All right, guys, I thought of a cool idea of putting all of our videos together. This video has took me hours on hours and days on days of editing, weeks on weeks. This is our whole year thrown into one video, guys, from guns, safes, knives, bombs, you name it. Everything we found this year, guys, is in this video. This is our top finds of 2022. With that being said, let's get straight to today's video. Whatever it is, this wedge right here. What is that? Dude, it's a gun, it's a gun in the back. It's a gun, it's a gun. It's a gun in the back, holy. Holy, holy shit. Dude, holy crap, holy cow. Holy oh crap, gosh. holy crap. Oh, another gun. Full shotgun, put it in the car, put it in the car. So we just found this big old shotgun. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Wow, man. We had to hurry up and rush to the car, guys, but Danny, just found the shotgun oh my god and it's like it's not it's still fresh it's just really muddy all right everybody so the police have just arrived all right so the evidence tech has just arrived what kind of shotgun do you think that is You think they'll be able to find any numbers off that gun? They link to a potential homicide or a crime? That's up to them down there at the property, but I obviously I can't see anything on it. Oh yeah, I understand. Hey, thank you. Ooh, look at this stuff. Why are you looking for like that? <laughs> Alright, so we have four police cars here. Going crazy, y'all. All right, so Danny's just found a safe over here. I guess you never know what you're gonna find in Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> we have the police officers gonna throw it out, y'all. Can you imagine? Oh yeah, something. We call it a shotgun bear. I used a rope. Uh, you you shot put it before. Looks like part of a shopping cart. Me too. I got the shotgun barrel, man. I gotta go. Y'all have a good one. Hey, thank you. Nice hey, you have a nice day. What'd you find, Dan? So we just found a railroad spike. First one hey, of the day. Heck yeah, first railroad spike today. Daniel. Yep. All right, everybody. So currently we are in LA. It is December 20th, 2021, guys. It has been six months. This has been our third court date, guys. Hopefully it's gonna be our last, but we are on our way to court. We're waiting for an Uber driver right now, guys. So with this next clip, it is gonna be trimmed up for court reasons, guys. But with that being said, let's continue with the video. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah. All right, Danny's getting arrested. I know I dealt with one before. Jenny, do you want me to call anybody? Um, Paige? Hey, I mean, you know what to do. Yeah, I don't have your number. What's your number? Can you guys hear that? Yeah. There, the little pinch button. Oh, yeah. Do you see the pinch thing right next to it? You pinch both sides. But you're still going to have to take it off because it's around my arm. 
You got my phone, Kevin? Who do you want for? I mean, I guess, just put the stuff in the pile, we'll call a scrap guy after we get all this taken care of, I guess. Right. You know, we're gonna worry about it. Well, honestly, I'm trying to save money for it. Dude, honestly, gonna be like, that's what happened. The way it works, the way it typically works, is, uh, obviously they said yeah. they would extract you. Which means but I'm halfway across the that's my thing. So, I don't know, he said it's out of California. I didn't see it, I didn't see it by, so I don't really get into that. No, you're, you're fine. Hey, babe. Yeah. So I'm in handcuffs. They, uh, Callie wants what me. The, what? Yeah, but it's gonna get taken care of now at least. What the hell? Did you call them about finding that gun? Yeah, it's it's fine. I mean, they're just it's nothing major. I mean, I'm gonna get out. All right, so we're loading Danny up. We'll get his stuff taken care of. He doesn't have anything here. Yeah, it's in Cal it's California. I don't know what it's considered in California, a different state. But we're out here, gentlemen. So All right. It was nice meeting you. I'll, hey, you I'll look up your channel. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. It's so hard to do this. All right, everybody. Unfortunately, Danny is not going to get released. We raised a thousand dollars to get him out, but unfortunately, California will not accept the money. They want to hold him up to ten days and expedite him back to California. So we're not going to know anything for the next ten days. He's apparently he's going to have to sit in jail for ten days. All right, guys. Here's a quick little update on what happened with the whole arrest thing. It was December twentieth, twenty twenty-one, when I went to court. The guy's name was Angel and it was insane because I seen Angel numbers the whole time I was sitting in jail. And he did not show up because he was on the run with four felony charges that would put him in prison for at least 20 years, guys. So they dismissed the case because I didn't even do it. All we did was stop the guy from kidnapping a girl, which we never even found out if the girl was recovered or found. But man, it's just insane. I, I really don't know what to say, guys. I tried to do the right thing and I got the short end of the stick. But yeah, uh, just watch who you help and when you help and what state you're in when you do help but with that being said guys let's get back to the 2022 recap oh my gosh just do this do this thing oh shit yeah i think that are you recording me oh my gosh dude. that's heavy that's a big cannonball dude, we, 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 are, 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 so i don't know what really goes on with cannonballs is it? I don't Can know. Can it either. be explosive? Yeah, oh yeah, that's explosive. Oh, oh let me get the f away from y'all then. <laughs> so they're calling someone else to make sure that's not explosive. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big piece of plumbing. You could be the one that pulls up a gun. If yeah. you were to pull up this from that time period, yeah. you're talking about uh, very like rudimentary black powder that had nitroglycerin in it that would leak. Oh, yeah. And this would detonate if you would have Hit it, pulled it with your magnet. If okay. it had that style black powder in it. <laughs> Today's black powder is not made with nitroglycerin okay. any longer. So like the back in uh, cowboy days when they would have yeah. sweating dynamite and it would detonate, that was the nitroglycerin coming out of it. That's okay. what you would see in something like this. Okay. Other than it's not it's so corroded and rusted, but you would definitely have a, a spot here where they where it would have been drill, poured out yeah and being in there for that long yeah this would be a nerd anyways if there was any once that gets wet it's no good anyways okay but i've never seen something like this that's encased with something that would explode on when it when it landed mm -hmm. because it had to be so volatile that when it blew out of the cannon it'd probably blow the cannon up because it would detonate inside yeah. the cannon if it was that bottle and you grabbed it with that magnet i would think that would have detonated if there was something inside of it but it's too heavy too yeah. i mean yeah. this thing's pretty heavy being hollowed out, it wouldn't be, be this heavy, and then we would see the indent. Okay. Even if it was filled with sediment, okay. you'd still see some sort of indent to it. So I think you're okay. 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 So you can have a cannonball. <laughs> That's the one thing she wanted. Oh, Rachel, wait, actually, Rachel's taking it. Oh, you're Rachel's oh, taking it. Oh, she's she's take taking it? it? Yeah, Rachel. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. That's cool. The cop one. Have a nice day. Yes, thank you. See what you got.
Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, sir. All right, Brett. All right. Yay! All right, guys. So Gavin just found this uh, sawed off, like the end sawed off. It's taped. I don't know. Who knows what this is, though, guys? It's very old. We're going to go ahead and turn this into here in a little bit. So we're going to keep fishing. Yeah, he, he just pulled a handgun. It's uh, It might be loaded here. A little 22. Yeah, it's a little 22 Browning. Okay. It looks like it. Since you'll be in contact with the responders, I just need to ask you a couple of COVID-19 related questions, okay? Okay. Oh. Can you experience any of the following symptoms? Is your body temperature 100.4 above or No. All right, how do you feel about finding that as I was on the phone Dude, with non-emergency? Bro, that is crazy. It's not a baby brownie. It is a PAF. It has two Dude, bullets that... on it, man. Guys, so we are still waiting for the cops. I'm pulling up. I got a spring on here. We got the spring. No way. We just got a mag. A Ruger mag. I think this is to that. Uh, this is to the 5.7 I found, I'm pretty sure. What do we got on here? We got a shoot ton of metal. Oh, you got a bike cord. Brick that got another mag. What? Two mags back to back. And then I have no clue what that is, but we got a bike pedal and another magazine, guys. Look at that. Dude, maybe there is. This like one has another uh bullet. this one has bullets in it. Go set that over there by the other mag for the police. We are going crazy this video, Gavin. Hell yeah. We're pulling up. Oh yes! We just got a 32 revolver. Oh yes! So many firearms today, guys. This one uh, looks to be loaded. All right, guys, so we got some good weight. No way, dude, another one! Holy cow! Stay back, stay back. This is the clip to the other one, dude. Woo -hoo! Woo! Yeah. Holy cow, dude! What is going on with today? What? There's a Ruger, look right there. Dude. This is a whole nother 5.7. See if that clip fits in there. Watch this, guys, if this fits. Oh my God, dude, what? Daddy's shaking. Bro, I am shaking. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm what? shaking. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Give me a second here. Woo. We have a, uh, a magazine loaded right here. We have the Ruger. We just fit the clip in that we found earlier. We have a 38 uh, right here. We have a 25 caliber. We have part of a uh, either shotgun or rifle. I can't tell. I don't know anything about them. A double barrel, a single shot barrel. Two bullets and a big round over there, guys. <laughs> Bro, I don't even know what to say. How you guys doing? Got a Ruger 45, a couple gun parts, and then a 32 Colt Special, and then a little like I think it's wow. an FPA or FAP. It's like oh, a South America shit. gun. Barrels we're not worried about, or this because this is destroyed. Are you worried about this mag? Uh, let me see. I don't think there's any branding or anything on it. We're not gonna no, we'll, we'll take guns. Yeah, we'll take yeah. guns. Yeah, yeah we'll take... we appreciate it, brother. There's no clearing that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, we've had homicides where we've come fucking in these ditches looking for guns. Cause this was just in one day. Wow. And I found at least a dozen here, a dozen, four bridges down, a dozen, two we bridges down. Oh, so you're all doing the magnet. Yeah, <laughs> I film for YouTube. I do it all on YouTube, oh, everything. Oh, I might have seen some of your videos. Danny Dip. Yeah, I've seen your video. Yep. Oh, that's pretty cool, brother. Yeah, I told yeah. you there's guys. Yeah, there. you said there's guys. Yeah, no, there. not that long ago I found a, a Ruger. It wasn't an ACP, but it was a 5.7. Okay. Same fresh. I cleared it. There's nothing in there. It didn't have a mag in it, though. And wow. Came out and got it. You just don't know if bodies on it. Both of us were homicide. We we're detectives still. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard you guys are getting very shorthanded. Is that true? Yeah, yeah we're, hiring. Hiring. We're, probably, we're hiring. We're probably 35, 40 short right now. Yeah. How many hiring. of you guys have? We're supposed to have 185. Oh, I was told you guys only had like 10 at a time. Is that true? Oh, on the oh, street? Oh, on the street, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. Okay. Uh, on some nights, five officers. Yeah. Well, okay, I, I just wanted to make sure because the last officer 16. gave me a really, really hard time about tell, told me to take in the police station, but last time I took one in the Lake Station, Wait, they chewed me out for that shit. This is something you should be called on. I always say Fire call, police. call yeah, them in. Yeah, because yeah, you they, yeah. you come in with the gun, they're gonna think they could think something you're getting ready to do crazy. I it, mean, I called and they still gave me a problem with it. Part of the problem, like you said, some nights we only have five officers for the whole city. There might be times they might say, hey, 
take take them home with you. Call again later. Well, they're off doing it that way, brother. This guy, I, I'm not scared as this. Yeah. But these ones, it's like they could be loaded. You don't know. The problem we become is we we aren't going to be able to break these open. Probably. What do you guys do? Just take a magnet or something? Yeah, big old magnet on a rope. Mine can pull up 3,800 pounds. I got a bumper over there. So we what got do you do? Weed just scrap with everything? You take the scrap, scrap in? I appreciate it. Yeah, like I said, there's going to be some days every officer's different, man. If you're out here during the day and you're right around 4 o'clock, that just, shift change. Yeah. Hold on to the shit till the middle of the next day. We yep. don't need that magazine. Yeah. We just need you sure? It's still that, that firearm. I popped it in. Nah, we're good. I'll, I'll keep it. I mean, I'll put it on it the shelf. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yours. We need, the, we need the guns. Okay, appreciate nah, that's it, brother. No problem, man. Take care. Um, hey, so, thank you very much. Hey, I can I get a report it. number by, by any chance? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, they, it's going to come to the point. I don't even know if they're going to want us to start property in some of these because if we can't unload them, okay, they're live uh, yeah, fucking yeah, rounds in the they're live in the uh, thing. I mean, what are we going to do with these if they're still loaded? That, well, we're going to have to figure it out when we get down there because I'm worried about this one that much. We're going to have to find out because if you keep finding this, I don't know how they're going to want us to even property these. Is there anyone I can talk to, like, head up? Because if you guys have, like, a list of stolen ones, I'd be Mark. happy to go out and look for them. That's for Sergeant Salazar. He's, he's pretty a, much a gun guy. He's he the is gun the guy. our gun guy. Yeah, oh, how no. long are you work this water? I, I want to dive it. I want to get certified. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> That'd be sick. But okay, brother. Thank you. Good job, man. No, thank you. Take care, brother. Okay, all right, guys, as you see, we got to keep some of the pieces. Gavin's going to be happy because they were all the pieces that he found. And, yeah. A little bit more off to the left that time. What is this? We got a couple weird things on here. No way, dude. Holy cow. If I'm right, this is a, a World War II style gun, guys. Um, I don't know much about World War II guns. I know the Ruby, which was in a video game I used to play. I'm pretty sure this is in a video game I used to play all the time, too. The wood is corroded. There's no number on this, but holy cow, guys. I finally found one of these. This style of this gun. I've been seeing everyone find this gun lately, and now I finally found one. Dude, this is insane. Holy cow. Dude, my blood is flowing. I don't even know what to say. Like, this doesn't even feel like a gun because the way these are made. It just, it's just like, it's big right here, but small right here. Man, what a great way to end off today's video, guys. All right, guys, so I was curious to see how much that gun is worth. It is a Luger Simpson 9mm, and it is a $2,000 gun. Holy cow, I knew it was expensive because it was like an older style gun, but holy cow, man. So we're pulling in. Just had a stick on my rope. No way. Dude, no way. We just got a revolver. No way what there's no cylinder oh and we got a, a bullet holy cow this thing is pretty old look at that thing that thing is like a rock holy cow that's insane guys and we got this weird piece of plate that is insane holy cow i don't even know what type of bullet this is it's so corroded but oh my god, look at this little thing, dude. Look at the, the handle. That's sick. I don't know which way it looks better. This way or the other way. All right, guys, just because it's so old doesn't mean uh, I'm going to keep it this time. Just because where we're at, I found a lot that have came back stolen. So who knows? This could be linked to a homicide or anything, a robbery. And I'm just going to turn it in because I don't want that uh, in my hands if it is linked to something like that. Who knows? It could possibly bring closure to a lost loved one. So we're going to go ahead and give them a call and then see if they'll come get it. Long time no see. Not much. Just pulled in an old, a very old revolver. I don't know if there's even going to be ballistics on it, but, you know, never know. Yeah, and there's a barrel, but I doubt you guys want the barrel. Yeah. It was stuck to a rock. I yanked on it. <laughs> no. I mean, no. Even if I did, I mean, the fingerprints that were on it, probably gone in 48 yeah, no, hours. We'll see what, see what uh, you guys want to do, but we'll put it in there. All right. Evidence. You guys don't ever do anything with it, don't destroy it. I'd be happy to take it back, like okay. I said. Yeah. Because um, I was talking, I've been finding, like, I found at least a dozen in Gary in the last month and a half. And they're like, well, the ones that are revolvers that are corroded so bad you can't disarm them, they're like, they don't know what to do with them. I said, well, I'd be happy to take them back. Yeah, I don't know what. what yeah, I don't even think there's gonna be able. 
break down. <laughs> seen the last video you seen the last one the one that went uh, viral or whatever which one uh, there's been a lot the car one or I think it was the one where you found the one on the bridge uh i came by and got that uh oh the black the little the one off the little jennings thing. yep yeah i found the grenade too that one went viral yeah. they all have been going viral recently it's crazy uh, I, I was looking, I was like, I wonder what people like about this so much. I don't know, it's just not knowing what you're gonna find. It's crazy. Cool, man. Yeah, you can find something. It's fun. Yep. Thank you. See you later, man. Have a nice day. <laughs> Have a nice day. Let's pull up, see if we got anything. Oh, no way. No way. Dude, and this is so corroded. Just got that. <laughs> It's a gun. Yeah, it's old. Yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh my gosh, this thing is old. Look at like, the thickness of it. Alright guys, so this is a very old uh little 25 caliber I think gun. Um it's very old, it's very muddy. As you can see, I tried scraping some mud off. It does not look like it has a magazine in it. It might even be a toy. Just because the way it's looking inside of here, I don't know if you guys can see that. But the detectives that came out last time and got the last guns we had said if it's later in Ford, don't even bother calling because it's shift change and they're really low staff right now. But we're going to take it home and clean it, see if we can't get any numbers off it. If we can't, then we'll probably just end up keeping it. It's very old, but cool find. No way. Dude, what? Look at that. What? Not seeing any numbers on this though. Trigger's gone, everything's gone. Handles are gone. Oh yeah, there's some numbers right here. Well, let's go ahead and uh, give them a call. We got a plate on here as well. Some metal, it's crazy. Well, since there's numbers on here, guys, it's a 22. Um, we're gonna give them a call and have them come look at this. Good, just found a, it's just a frame of a 22. Okay. And it doesn't have a cylinder, handles, grips, anything really. Okay. But the numbers are still on it, I'm pretty sure. What's that? I said, I'm pretty sure the numbers are still on okay. it. Just so. doing some magnet fishing and yep. Man, as you're out here doing some magnet fishing. It's cold. It, oh. It's pretty cold today. Oh. Yeah, literally just found one the other day too. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Were you here? No, I was just reading the report. I was seeing. Did it come uh, back to anything? Do you know? I don't think so at this point. Because. I remember I found one in Lake George probably two months ago and someone said, some older lady said she's missing the same style with pearl handle. So really? I'm not sure if it's hers or not. You gotta try to get your boss. Oh yeah, I think it's in my pocket. It's in my car. I don't even think that this is legible. I'm trying to find a serial number. It's got a model number, caliber. Yeah, I don't know. Industries. The normally I tried to scratch off the bottom of the handle. That's where the last one for 22s there tend to be on the bottom right there. That's, a, that's what sucks with these older, older style ones. There's yeah. so many companies that. And I think it says Miami, the Miami, Florida. Yeah, on I it. see that. It's RG Industries is the manufacturer. It's an RD 23, RG 23. But there's no way by looking it I'm up. I'm just that trying way. to see the serial number. I mean, realistically, without a serial number, it's going to be almost impossible you know because that's it's model number make make model number and the serial yeah number, unless you know? it's yeah because there's not really ballistics you could do on that little thing i don't think so I don't <laughs> and think if it was like an ar okay it's a little bit understandable so, um but what we'll do is we'll take it into possession uh have it sent out of anything to make it something out of it so, okay. thank you thank you appreciate it man no problem uh yeah if you Magnificent. I know you're. I probably found a dozen out. I was gonna say, I know you magnificent pretty often. So, anything else you want to say? It's not okay. No problem. All right, All right. Have a nice day. Let's see what we got. We are dragging it in. I'm pulling up ahead of time so we don't get stuck on that big thing. Let's see what we got. No way. 
Hey, no way. We already got one, guys. Ready, got one. Holy cow. There is no numbers on this boy. But holy cow, dude. Like, we haven't even been here for half an hour and we already found a pew pew. We just got this already. Looks like a 38, maybe even bigger. That's crazy. Has a little, it's been in there for a while. It's all dented up. But we are going to hold on to this and see if we can find any more stuff before we leave. And yeah. I don't think there's gonna be any numbers or ballistics on that guy, so I think this is one we get to keep. A magazine, right? No. Is that? Yeah. What's stuck to though? Another mag. Oh no. That's weird. Guys, I just got a magazine. It's stuck to something else though. That's weird. We'll have to break that apart. Oh, cool. it's on the power tip. 22 hollows. Are you sure? Is that a 22? No. That's two in magazine. I don't know what this is though. Let's just chuck it over there, see if it breaks. Oh, wow. I'm not a well, it looks like it was a magazine at one point. Two magazines stuck Grab together. the bullets. They all flew everywhere. So yeah, he had two magazines stuck together. I have no clue what this was though. That's cool though. Gavin just got two magazines. Shaped square. Like a box. Radio. Cash drawer. Wow. So we just got a cash drawer. That's crazy. Any hundreds under there? No. Nope. Felt like we clicked something. Is that what I think it is? Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo -wee. Look at that thing. Oh my God. I don't think there's any numbers on that. That handle's in pretty good condition, guys. Yeah, you can see it's all like oily. It's pretty cool. Don't lean towards it. I don't want to point it at you. But yeah, told you only a matter of time, man. Yeah. Sheesh. Woo. And it's one we're going to get to keep. I'm trying to get it up and oh, it looks like a stick. Oh, oh yeah, baby. A rifle. And that thing is keepable. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, and then Gavin got a telephone. Look at this. How'd you get that? It must be a speaker still in there. Who are you gonna call? Man, that's what Ghostbusters. We also got a padlock right there and a sheet of metal, but look how old this freaking, I think it's a shotgun, not a rifle. What's this weird bolt off the side? That's what I wanna know. I thought it was a rifle at first, and, but I thought that was like a, a bolt action thing, but it's not. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna go put this in the car and we're gonna keep fishing. So we're pulling something up right now. What is this? We just got a gun. I don't know if that's real or not. It looks like an old shotgun or rifle. Holy cow, dude. Hey. Just like last time in like five throws, man. Yeah. This is insane. Holy cow. Well, Steven's stuck. But that's an old vine. That is a keeper, bro, man. Nice. Hey. Is that a whole gun? Wow. Got a couple things on here. Let's pull up. We got a lot of weird stuff on here. So, got this glass stuck to it to start off. Then we got this weird thing. Looks kind of like part of a meat grinder. It's weird. Then we got this weird little like piece of tool. What is that? Oh, I got a gun on here. Holy oh, cow, snap. I didn't even notice it. You got a gun. That's oh. old. That's going to be a good wall piece. Oh, yeah. It might be another toy cap gun. That's uh, not, or a little so. 22. No, it's a 22. You can see. It's a toy? No, it's real. Oh, you it's can tell real? by the loading. Yeah. It's going on my shelf. That's an old one. 
I didn't even, I, I was focused on like the meat grinder looking thing I got. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at this. Ain't that, don't, don't you think that's like the meat grinder where you set a, a piece of meat and you slice it? Yeah. Like this? Who knows? But, well, two guns one day. Be like an old. Uh, it's an old like 22 short side loaded. Short. Yep, they're not 22s. This is 22 short for sure. Then I also got an old lock. That's pretty cool. Holy cow. That's a 50 cal. 50 cal. 50 cal bullet? Dude. Holy cow. Dude, let's just find a 50 cal sniper, bro. Wait, can I hold it? I just want to see the comparison. Oh my. That, them are 50 cals. The other ones that we've been finding are bombs. Dude, yeah. <laughs> That thing is longer than my hand almost. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Oh yeah, buddy! <laughs> Woo! Another half of one. That one's so old, you don't need to turn that in. That's a, like the same one I have, bro. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Guys, so look at that. It has wood stuck to it. It's like, this is so gone, dude. Oh my gosh. So we're pulling in. Hey, BB gun! A BB gun? BB gun! Hey! I have the same exact one already. It's a BB gun. Look at that, guys. That thing is old. That's pretty cool. Look at that. So we stuck something straight down, guys. No way. Dude, this is a big one. Holy cow, guys. And this is old. Whoa. This thing is like a rock. Holy cow. There's not going to be any numbers on that one, though. Holy cow. Guys, I, it's been a while since I found a gun here. Look how muddy it is. Wowzers. That is a nice one, guys. I'm gonna try to get some of this mud off, though. I don't want this harding up, because then if I do go to clean it later on, it will be a pain in the butt. Holy cow, that's the last thing I expected to pull. Oh my gosh, everyone's smashing the like button right now for that. Technique. Oh yeah, we got it this time. Looks like a cross. No way. Is this what I think it is? If so, that's so messed up. Guys. No way. This is so sad. This was someone's cross for when they died in a car accident. We gotta get this attached back on there. We're gonna put this in the ground. Yeah, dude, that's a memorial for someone. Oh my, it broke a little bit, but it still looks good. We're gonna go put it in the dirt over there. We're gonna get the standing back up for whoever this is. Go ahead and hop over this. Maybe next time I'll come here, I'll bring some, some nails. Oh, that's loose. Next time I come, I'll have to uh, get some nails. I'll fix it up. But man, that's sad that someone, I bet you someone hit it and they were just like, oh, just throw it in the water. Cause it was probably up here somewhere along the street. Someone probably hit it and just threw it in the water. Well, we got it standing. 
So that's good, but that's crazy. One of my craziest finds yet. Oh yeah, it's not open. Let it drain some. Oh. So what we're doing, we're gonna get the grappling hook. So we got the hook, we're back up here. Let's go ahead and start pulling this up. It's pretty heavy, but I got it. It's starting to feel lighter. It might actually be empty. Yeah. So we broke it open. Moment of truth. And it is empty. Take a look at that, guys. That looks like a mortar round, more than likely. Yeah. Oh, that's dude. pretty crazy. Yep, that's going right back in the box. All right, so what'd you find, Clay? <sighs> well, that's not a good sign. That's you got an ammo case. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, mortar. <laughs> Look at that. It's like the old that's mortar one of the style. Ones that they put in the, uh, like a tool in there. Yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. So, with motor call, you know what to do. Yep. I'm going to have to call them out here. They're going to have to look and verify that it is a bomb, which clearly it is. And then, bounce call have to come out, and we'll probably be out here for another four hours. I'm going to call fun, the police fun. department right now. And yeah, we'll get back to you. Right all right, so Danny cleaned up the mess of all the stuff that we found today. It's about three or four hundred pounds. All right, so Danny just made a mess. <laughs> Police just showed up. Sorry, man. Well, turn off that camera because I'm not gonna be part of a YouTube video. So it's my first amendment right, sorry, officer. Okay. Well, like I, I won't said, have your face on it, man. It's face down towards the ground. That's just ridiculous, okay? I don't want to be part of a YouTube video, okay? Okay. That's, I mean, I, I would think you can respect that, right? But I do have the I'll right, though. I'll take your complaint and I'll talk to you about what's going on, okay. but again. But as a First Amendment right, I have the right to record. Okay, and you do. Okay. But I'm asking you not to because, again, I don't want to be on the internet. Well, we can, we can blow your face so, out. Yeah, we'll blow your face out. Yeah, we'll show you nothing right, to respect. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll turn mine off. Okay. There. Mine's off. Two cage mortar. Okay, and what is that? What do you mean? So it's a missile or something like that? It's a mortar. Okay. Is it empty? It doesn't appear to be. The top part of it would be the explosive part of it. So this part right here is what the explosive part would be, right there. The mm -hmm. pins and stuff would be on the back side here. Okay, so what are you looking for us to do with it? Obviously, I don't know, it needs to be disposed of somehow. So now you understand, Brown County is going to have to send deputies here, Yep. take them I, uh, off the road in Brown County where People are probably calling for help and stuff like that. Well, it's an explosive. Kids so, magnet fish here. What if a kid pulls it up? I have Unless Officer, Travis, I have officer Travis of the bomb squad for Appleton. If you need to call him, I can. Let's see. We oh. always have to call for Travis, Officer Travis. We'll call. All right. All right. Let me make those phone calls, and I will be back with you. Okay. Oh, good. That's 
ridiculous. All right, Clay, so thank, thank what's you. going on right now with the police officer? He's <laughs> saying that I can't record the conversation. And told me I have to turn my camera off. Last time I checked, it's the First Amendment right. I apologize for getting off on the wrong foot to you. My name's Clay. And what's your name? Officer Fowler. Officer Fowler, nice to meet you, man. Sorry I started off on the wrong foot. But I would pr appreciate being able to record and document this for our document documentation of this. So if you're all right with that, I won't show your face. In the situation well, like I this. I don't want to look like anything because I don't want to be on video in the first place. But, but like I said though, it still it still comes down to being our first amendment. And, and if you want to do it, like I said, you're going to do that. It is what it is. I'm just telling you my thoughts on it. That's it. I'm just my glad, thoughts have yeah, no bearing on what you do. No, I know. That's why I wanted to come over and at least apologize to you and just say, hey, you know, my name and then yours. Get yours. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. So I'm waiting on call back. When they call back, I'll tell them what we got. I'll probably send them some more pictures. I don't know what he wants to be doing with it yet. Is the one in water? We'll probably come down here. Do you want it in water? Do you where it is? So it's fine where it is. All right. You bet. Thank you. I'm just going to take a few pictures for them. So they know what they're... Mm -hmm. Do you know so can... Officer Travis is coming up? I have no idea. Uh, Officer Travis is usually the one that comes up here and okay. deals with our explosive stuff. Okay. Look at that. We don't have any specific bomb squad because we work for multiple different sheriff's departments. Okay, okay. Gotcha. I understand. So it's a, it's joined between Brom and Oda. Oh, uh, yeah, because right, from Brown Michigan and, and Indiana, Indiana, they just cover the whole it. state. Oh, yeah. All no right, problem. You guys up. have a good night. All right, thank you. Pulling up. What is this? Can't see it. I gotta get the wrong this. Oh, we got part of a motorcycle frame. And that looks pretty fresh. Uh, we got some scrap metals. And yeah. Part of this motorcycle frame, it's the head tube. Let me dump all this out on this side. Oh, it has the numbers, guys. We might have to uh, call this in. So guys, this does have the numbers on it and we might have to call it in. Maybe they can do it over the phone because clearly it's chopped up. It's not gonna be a full bike. So the owner is not gonna get it back, sadly. But it does have the numbers on there, guys, so we probably will call it in or go take it to the police station so they can run it. So, guys, so we got a lot of stuff on here. Oh, no way, we just got a gun. Well, we got part of it. Holy cow, we just got part of a gun. That is so old. Man, there's no numbers on that. I wish it would have been full. But, hey... It's one we get to keep, guys. That's pretty crazy. Look at that, dude. That's insane. That is starting to snow on us. So we got some good weight on here. We're pulling up this big old drawbridge. It's coming out the water right now. What do we got on here? Dude. What is that? Is that an old gun? That is an old gun. Dude, this is a freaking assault rifle. Is. This is an AR-15 barrel. I think we should probably turn this in just because it's an assault rifle. Yeah. Whole week. I thought it was a sword for a know, minute. Or like thinking. a bomb. <laughs> it's an M16. Yeah. Dude, 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 dude. That's a no. big gun, bro. That's like that size. I know. That's nice. Here, let me chip some of this corrosion. Just as I said, none of us besides Snoop, our old scrap man, found a gun. And then I pull up an M16 barrel, my first assault rifle. It's not the whole thing, sadly. Uh, they might be able to do ballistics off it, but it's pretty beat up. I'm gonna call it in just cause it's an assault rifle and this is a very bad city, guys. I mean, the murder rate up here is very high. We're in Illinois, that's all I gotta say. We'll wait to call it in, see if we can find the rest of it. 
We got another piece of metal on here too as well. So do you find the lower? That's where the Dude, I threw right there and I pulled it. Or no, wait. Yeah, I did. It was like right here. That's nuts. Where'd you draw out? I threw like all the way out there and then I pulled in this way. And then I pulled in this way. So Jeff got a big old piece of plumbing right there. Look, it's coming up. Jeff is the plumber of the day, Mr. Plumber Jeff. I know, a lot of pipes today. Might be part of that scaffold. Dude, this is some good away. So I'm pulling in the same direction where we pulled in and found that uh, the upper part of that M16. What? That's the lower, bro. Yes. That thing right. No way. That's nuts. Dude, I just found it. That's crazy. What's the chances of that back to back? I gotta be careful. I gotta take this off to get it. Oh, I got a crowbar. Dude, what? That was at least a stock for sure. That's the stock for sure, bro. The lower might be on it though. I don't know. I got it by the end of the stock. Bro, that thing probably rotted off when they cut it. This is an M16. Tied down. Look. That look like one of them damn things you break up brick with. No. Yeah, yeah. This all look like Damn, that mug. It was tied down by something. That was a, that was wild in the first. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? So we Good. found uh, the upper to M16. Okay. We had the other half, but it fell down because we had it by the back of the head. butt, by the bolt, and we couldn't relocate it. It's right off that side of the bridge. So it's tied down. Very interesting. Let me call our evidence unit and see if they want to do this before I even. Uh, so I have a question. Sure. We didn't bother you guys with the parts because I know Indiana, they don't want anything unless it's whole. Um, I figured I'd ask. Like this? Yeah. Oh. So I heard a couple stories from a lady that lives in this apartment that there is a uh, murder a couple years, probably about a decade or so ago with an assault rifle. I don't know if that's true or not. There, there's been definitely different there's things. There's been? You know. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure because... No, 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 no. I mean, I would always suggest you to call, man. I mean, my neighbor, he retired. He started doing this stuff. So. He must have seen our video. <laughs> he, might, he might have, man. We appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, right. we'll check out the videos. Yeah, I'll check it out, man. Appreciate yeah, right. you guys, all right? Stay safe. All right, guys, so we got something on here. I'm pulling up. Good weight, good weight. No way! <laughs> no way! Danny's just found a gun. Dude, what? No Dude, it's a Smith way. and Wesson with the. No is that air no saw, way. bro? That's air. No, it's not. What's stuck in it? What is that? Oh, an acorn. Dude, that's definitely a Smith and Wesson with the laser scope. Dude, I just. It's cleared. Holy no sh. Way. Dude! What? Holy cow, guys! And Jeff didn't want to stop at this spot. Nah, Dan's just found another gun man. He's playing it off. That thing's been out for a while, too. Look how much it's up again. That was right on the shore. <laughs> Go throw on that side, guys. Yeah. Holy cow, guys. Look at how clean that Smith & Wesson is. It is clear. No magazine. Look at that. Had an acorn in the bottom. That is absolutely nuts, guys. Holy cow. Look at this machete, bro. It has pink butterflies on the handle. What? That's insane, dude. This is a butterfly machete. This is cool. All right, guys, we're gonna put it to the test. A little doll. All right, guys, so we're pulling up. Don't see anything. Oh, no way, I got some shotgun shells like they did earlier. A Winchester and a Remington. Look at that, two more shotgun shells to add to our shenanigans, our finds, guys. Oh no, they're falling. All right, guys, so JJ has a bag. You got it? That's a car boot and a bag, guys. That is, bro. <laughs> you found a car boot. That's pretty cool. So JJ just got the shotgun. Oh. Yeah, they jumped that dunk hunting. That's a rifle. Here, put it up here. That looks like a 30 odd six. That dude's seen that one be pulled up. 
That's dope. No, that's a bag. That was in a bag. Yeah. Look at what's this? Nope. Oh, pull that bag off, or actually leave the bag on. Wow. That's insane, guys. Yeah, this is definitely looks like a thirty. Let's get. Six. I'd say let's get it to the car for someone sees it. that guy already yeah. seen over there. Here, grab that bag so it doesn't fall off. Guys, so let's take a closer look at that. And what we got over here, man? So we found a Smith & Wesson, well I did, with a, a laser. Then I found a machete, but it has butterflies on the handle and a uh, pride flag. Then we got a boot that was in the bag JJ found. And then JJ found a hunting rifle we believe was tied up in the bag as well. Wow, that An is An insane awesome. day. You've already called the police, correct? Yes, we did. And what did the police say? They said they were sending an officer on their way. If they can't find us, they'll call us back. Oh. Yeah, I got some fresh ones. <laughs> <laughs> Your star, Smith and Wesson, and then we have no clue what type of hunting rifle. Yeah, found this. Yeah, that. I don't know if you want it. I don't want to take it to scrap. I was gonna ask if you guys can give us a report number so we can scrap it. So they found it in the water. In the water. In the yeah. water. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Like right off the shore, probably four feet. I imagine they couldn't throw it as far if they wanted. Okay. I think that's the states. So y'all yeah, found it inside the water, right? Yes. Yeah, everything in the back of the truck's been pulled out the water today. 47, you grab these boat, and I just want to specify yeah, what this is. Uh, Indiana, the this GMC that we're showing. Or the light, whatever it is. Hey, Sarge, they found it in the water. I'll give you the last one, one second. 10 four. And the color's your line. They found it inside the water. And the last one, I'm going to do one for 38. And the color's your line. There's definitely one I got it. Well, I have a rifle that's similar to this, and they're right here. They're right here, right? Yeah. All right. Bye bye. Can I get one of you guys' ID? Yeah. I can get my wallet. Did you find it? That one is simply one of them. in the water so we still trying to find this uh, serial number on the rifle. Thank you guys. All right guys, so we just picked something up in between these uh, twigs. Oh my God, a Luger! A Luger! Two Lugers! Oh, Dude, another Luger! No way, Danny. I, oh my <laughs> God, dude, this is two Lugers. These are from Germany. Wow. Holy cow, guys. That is insane. First gun here and it's a Luger. That's absolutely crazy, guys. All right, guys, so with this being an older gun and Indiana's laws being if it's older than the 1940s, not to turn it in unless it has numbers on it. The last one I found of this year only had three numbers on it, which means it was from Germany. Um, this one could have four or five means it's from the U.S. But uh, with this being this old and the trigger messed up, 
and in worse condition than the other one I found. I don't think there's gonna be any numbers on there. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this, and if it does have numbers, we'll uh, clean it up and at least call and make sure it's not stolen or anything. You wanna know how to find the guns? Watch this, I'm pulling in a gun right now. <coughs> what would you do if I did? I have it on documentation right now. No, stop. No cuts. <laughs> Bringing something in for a while. It's hitting the ground and bumping. Dude! Dude, I just told him that. No cuts. Dude. A double barrel shotgun sold off too this is old too there's no numbers on that for sure oh my gosh i say that's a keeper right yeah dude that's old that's gonna be looking good on the wall dude no cuts i told you <laughs> bro the way that's i'm awesome. going the way i'm going i'm gonna have four in one day all right guys as you can see we just found this sawed off double shotgun man guys this one is older than the luger there's definitely gonna be no numbers on this one it's gonna make a good wall piece though guys look at that Go ahead and stick this right up over here. Rocky, very rough. I don't want to fall in the water. Got some tiles. But I'm trying to find out where that thing is. Oh, it's right here. That's exactly what that is. It's an ankle monitor. Holy cow. It's not an ankle monitor. Ankle monitor. That's insane. Over to the other side, I found this bag to sit right here. And there's like a, looks like there's a needle. Some oh yeah, stuff there's a needle right there, guys. Uh, well, be careful if we're going to open it. Oh, is that a purse? Dude, it's a whole purse. All right, so we're going to take this to the car. It has a whole purse in it. Good size, Jeff. There is definitely some drugs in here. Some needles and stuff like that. You got to be really careful. So we're opening it right now. You got to be careful, though. It is definitely stolen. We got... Needle, syringes, oh, this is a whole kit, guys. Oh, so, as you can see, you gotta be very careful. There's another needle. Oh, the needle part's not on it, though. That's sketchy, I gotta watch out now. Oh, yeah, it's probably loose in the bag, be careful. There's another needle thing in there, what's in here? Oh, yeah, there it is. Found it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's definitely, this is all, there's some drugs up in here, guys. There's tinfoil everywhere. Got some condoms. Oh, holy cow. More. No way. Yeah, we gotta definitely turn this in. This is a lot, guys. There's two more needles. That one still has some in it. We're just gonna shut this, guys. Considering the fact that it had all that in there. Yeah, we don't want to take a chance of uh, getting poked by a needle. It's yeah, definitely no. not going to be cool. We're going to put this all back here. And we're going to turn this, turn this in here in a little bit. I've never found anything like that, but that is insane. <laughs> all right, guys, so I got to wear a piece of metal on here. Dude, Look at that. Dude, he has a shotgun. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, dude, that's the same, the same style I found like, I want to say eight months ago. Dude, Mine was so corroded. Holy no cow. Way. Dude, it's a pump. Dude. Oh, no oh my, look how, look how strong a connection you had on that. You must have been dragging that from all the way out there. Dude, no freaking way. Oh, holy cow, look at that. Wow. Dude, it's a shotgun. Yeah, nice, man, bro. Nice, man, bro. Yeah, man. His first gun of the trip, guys. Oh. Is there any numbers on it? it? Has tape around it. They sawed it off on the back end. Definitely probably used in something. Dude, it has not been down there very long. Is there any numbers or anything? Oh, you wow. can tell this side was stuck to the ground. What the heck? Jeff! I know, bro! bro. First the bag with the person with all the needles. Then I found the ankle monitor down there on the shore and he just pulled that in from right over where I pretty much found mine like eight months ago. Mine was in way worse condition than this and didn't have grip. We didn't have tape on the grip, guys. That's insane. You can see it's, it's cleared, though. That's good. Oh, wow, no, look how fresh dude. that is, bro. It could shoot, probably. So as you guys can see, you can still put shells in there. Everything works and functions. 
It doesn't want to cock back. I'm not trying to mess with it. Let's go take this over to the truck and call in that paraphernalia and the shotgun, man, and the ankle monitor. I doubt they'll want that, but that'd be cool to show them. Never found one of them. A little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see some letters. USA. 1907, bro. What? It says it's a ninth. It's from 1907. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. It says 1907 on that. All right, Danny, let's take a close look at that gun, man. Yeah, I cleaned it off a lot. It says it's the issue date is 1907, bro. There's no numbers on it because that back that old man, they didn't do that back in the day. So it's gonna be really hard for them to trace it. The only way they can find stuff off is if uh, there was a homicide with a shotgun, a pump shotgun. Can't do ballistics on shotguns, so we'll never really know, but we're gonna turn this in because clearly that's involved in something. How you doing, dude? How you doing? I'm see, man. All right? Pump shotgun. Okay. And we found that on the side of the road in that bag. I didn't want to touch it because oh, yeah, it's, some it's stuff everywhere. There. There's foil in there. There might even be some in there. And then I found this on the, the rocks down there. So I, I doubt you that. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we got some gloves real quick. Yeah. Uh, were you just fishing off the bridge? Yeah. Just like okay. let's pull off this time. Okay. Give me one second. All right. They found a Smith and Wesson with a laser on it, and then a hunting rifle. Really? Yeah. That's where uh, I'm fishing. Next. Yeah. Really? It's crazy. I'm kidding, man. So it seems like you uh you got to touch with these things, man. I it's just technique really. You can I don't know if they're serial numbers, but there's a date right there. It says 1905. Yeah. Right there where it's rubbed off. Okay. Yeah, you can like lightly see it. Yeah. In another place and oh, I didn't even try to do that. <laughs> man, I must have not been down there in a long couple years. Okay. So it's back there and I'll come and grab this thing. I'm sure someone probably just threw it off to the side of the road. They tried to probably throw it in the water and missed. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Weather's been kind of crappy lately. Is there about the hand grenade? Uh, uh found here? Oh yeah. No, I think they exploded with C4. Or oh, I still. got you. Just in case. Yeah. Yeah, that's old. Uh, <laughs> been down there probably for a decade. Jeez. Okay. Let me get your name real quick again, just because uh, I want to make sure I get your info right. Our building's down right now, otherwise they just run it in there. Went to the uh, non-emergency number. Okay. So. Yeah, because it, it was full. Uh, I called the police department. They sent me that number again. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Just call, give us a call, man. Uh, after we're about to stay, I just let them know you found the property and if you remember the dates, might be the best. So now you got quite a few in there. Yeah, I don't, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> All right, man. Nice seeing you again. Thank man. you. All right, buddy. You too. Hey, what time did you pull this one out, the shotgun? Uh, I want to say what, 30, 40 minutes ago? Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right, buddy. You guys have a good one. Danny says he's got something big coming up. What is that? It's another boot. No way, he found another boot. Last time we were out here, we found one of those. And the cops actually wanted to take it because they didn't want us getting in trouble with it. Scrap hand to scrap yard. So if we find anything else crazy, maybe they'll take this. <laughs> oh, catfish. Oh, he got a catfish. Oh, that was so cool. He was in there, dude. He was hiding. It's an airsoft, yeah. It's like an airsoft. Wait, 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 wait. Cool, wait, wait. Yeah, gamma, it's airsoft. Hold off. Oh, yeah, that's airsoft. Still pretty cool find, though. Hey, it's a gun I can keep. Yeah. <laughs> Airsoft gamma. Well, I used to have one when I was a kid. It's pretty cool though. It's cool fun, man. Your second ever gun. I guess, but does this count half a gun? No, it's a, it's a BB gun. It's a gun. It's a BB gun. So I'm pulling something up. Oh, shotgun. Hey. Rifle. All right guys, so my camera just died, but I just pulled in this big old rifle. I have no clue what it is, but it is in the same stuff as JJ's. JJ actually showed up, he's fishing with us. He actually bought a BB gun, where's that at? That's right there. But yeah, we're gonna go and turn this in. Um, let's take a look at that BB gun as well. They sadly don't want BB guns, so he gets to keep this second gun ever. But yeah, this is uh, huge. Definitely gotta get this up there and oh, get man. calling. 
All right, Danny, what'd you just find over I here? I found a big old bolt action rifle and one of these cases like JJ found yesterday, as you can see, it's a long rifle, bolt action. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and call this in just cause it's probably stolen along with the other one since it's in the same casing. It was in pretty much the same spot, just a little bit over. And then they took the boot last time. We found another one in the drain spill oil. Oh, there. you guys had another one before? Yeah, and then we found another rifle and a fresh Smith & Wesson like two Not days ago. Oh, you guys found other weapons before? Yeah, two oh, days wow. ago, literally. Jeez. Oh, it was in the same casing, that's why we're calling this one in. Oh, okay, so is this a case around it? Yeah, the other one had part of the case. So we think they tied a whole bunch of them up and threw them in there. Because it was oh. literally like 10 feet down on the rock. So you guys were what, fishing, like, fishing out of it? with a, Fishing with a magnet. Out of here with a magnet? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You ever hear of it? I have not heard of it, but using context clues, you know. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, it's crazy. You're just dropping a high-powered magnet in there and grabbing stuff out. Can you please nice. show well, me Well, I mean, yeah, let's we'll see if I can get a serial number off of this thing. I need somebody's information here. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, how long you guys were out here today? An hour or two. We walked the canal for a little bit, then we fished the spill well, and then we just picked over here and found this. I'm trying to see if there's anything there. I can get a glove and scrub it. No, I got. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna grab my gloves and mess with it. But now that it's in my custody, I you know I don't know. I don't want you guys messing with it. I think I have. We have one more, but we need to pick up some trash. Okay. Oh no, you're good. I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I'll just pick it up. I'm gonna get you added to this file real quick. Hold on. Okay. Second. No problem. All right, guys, so he is doing a little bit of information. Um, he asked me if I had any bags. I got some bags for him. Uh, okay, so now, you know what? I just realized I could put it in the tank. I appreciate it. I'm going to put this in the bed of my truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I just put it in the back. I forgot. I always forget about that. I used to drive a pretty, I used to drive the Impala, so I'm not used to having, like, you know, the bed to, to work with. Garbage hauled off. There we go. That's not too bad. That's a city of Chicago. I thought that was more cool. yeah. there. Yeah. But well, I was going to ask if you guys had like a certain number just for you for the forest preserve. You mean do we have? Because we're going to be coming back here a lot. I don't oh, want to keep okay. calling. Non emergency has normally been like. Ringing, it just rings, ringing, rings for now. Yeah, no, I, I, don't know I if it's honestly, connection. you could, yeah, you could call the desk. Uh, uh, I can give you the number to call. Yeah. Just so uh, we're not calling 911. Yeah, so you're not putting it out. But yeah, anything, yeah, we would we would be involved with it. You know, uh, it's particularly if it's like a weapon or something like that. Because I mean, three out of here in two days, there's probably yeah, a lot more. I guarantee you there's more. Yeah, yeah there's no question. Is there, so. is there any, like, you think that's probably involved in anything or anything like that? Is it pretty bad over here? Because like I, I said, we're from, I'm from Indiana, he's from Missouri, so. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not ever this far south. Oh, really? So I'm not. That's what I'm going to say. I was like, well, where I'm from, people wouldn't throw it away. In well, the that's, a, they're, that's they're, 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 I was going to say, you're putting the connection together that I can't see any reason to throw away a gun. So. I, I know, but I know where, like in my hometown, there's a lot of crime. They are not going to throw it away in their hometown, you know. Yeah. They're going to go south or north. Well, that's what I was saying, far. though. Some of these rivers, you, you just don't know what's coming from where. Well, it's, it's pretty calm, too. That's what yeah. I like about it. Some of that stuff is, I, I mean, yeah, I would imagine they're going to take anything. Like, I like just speaking for myself personally, anything that's like, you know, if I can write a report on it, then I probably got to take it. You know, yeah. that's why the city of Chicago thing, like, I, it's going to be added to the report. I mean, it's surprising that they got it off in the first uh, place, but, you know. I've seen some crazy videos. No, I've people seen, just yeah, driving I've seen off. People, okay. Yes, I've okay. seen people able to, to, to get those things off, so I don't know. We have a I already yeah. got yelled at once. Hey, man, you're cleaning out the river, man. You know. That's what I say. <laughs> everyone yeah, everyone has their opinions. Everybody's doing their thing, us. too. I think it's cool. I'm sure, like, it makes great content, right? People probably want to see it. Everyone I know I would want to see it, so. You know. Well, check it out. Yeah. I gave you the card. Yeah, for sure. I got the card. I'll see it. I'll yeah, you can find his channel there, too. I have never heard of anybody saying anything about whether or not you can magnet fish. Yeah. I would imagine if you create too much of a stir, just like anything else, they'll try to put some sort of rule. So you get a crowd, but you at might the same stop. time, But at the same time, like, like I said, you're getting stuff out of the water, man. So 
we get the hands on it and you run it and you find out it's connected to something, it could bring closure to somebody who, who has no closure. That's, so, that's, that's why you know, we do this, yeah. Yeah, so that was, I, I, you know, I mean, well, you're not going to get any hate from me. I love, you know, independent well, I'm content glad. I'm creators. Glad. It's man. nice it's awesome. meeting you, man. That's nice what we love. Too, man. As the other two cops we met yesterday, too, they were so nice. And I'm just yeah. like, man, it makes me want to come back and I'm about, they probably, I'm about to say, they probably find it as interesting as I do. So I was like, yeah. Well, like it's I said, like, it's not something you see yeah. every day. No, not at all. No, and it's so small and it's just growing and growing and growing. and. No, that's cool. All right, man. All right, nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you guys. All right, hey, thank nice you. Too, man. All right. Feels like I've been dragging something, and I'm starting to pull up. I got a gun. I got a gun. Oh, oh. no way. No way. Danny's just got another gun today. Holy cow. It's no clearing that. That's been in there for a while. What type is that? H has a big waist. There's a serial, num serial numbers right there. We gotta clean that up. 45 wow. ACP. A 45 ACP, guys. Awesome, man. What? Yeah. Dude. Dude, how many guns have we found this week? This will be, I believe, the eighth. Yeah. Man. Holy shit. That's a little nice one, bro. The numbers are right there, bro. So guys, as you can see, look how clear that is, 003524. That is really crazy. We will call this in here in a little bit. Let me go put this by the car. We have two police officers today. What's going on, guys? Uh, pulled out a 45 ACP. It's been down there for a while, but I think the number- How far, how far did you guys- right On this on the... side, more on the other side towards the swampy area. You got your ID? Yeah. Seen you guys out here earlier. Yeah, I seen you drive past. I was like, oh. Last time they heard they caught a Hello? duffel bag of guns. What do you do with this? What is this? Did you pull that up too? That's a motorcycle frame. We don't know if there's uh, numbers on it or what, but we figured we'd show you guys. It's a what? Motorcycle frame. It says Harley Davidson on it. I'm not sure if the numbers are on it. Yeah, this thing's still loaded too, huh? Yeah, it looks like the clip's falling out a little bit. I tried to, I tried to disarm it, won't come out. <laughs> any calls lately about any guns being found? We're out here? Yeah. <laughs> like in the river? Yeah, I haven't been out here in, I want to say a month. Man, I've been on 16 years and they're the first person that I've had to deal with. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. I know, I, I was like, these are two new cops I've never met. Yeah. What happens with all the guns? Go do a IBIS test on it, test fire it. Um, they might try to find them if they can get a hold of the owner. I know you can't get them back, they destroy them anyways afterwards. Yeah, they take them to the mill and burn them and melt them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's crazy. I'm surprised you guys haven't drained, drained it yet, to be honest. There's a lot of vehicles in there. I do what you're saying, block yeah. it off. <laughs> yeah, you know how they build bridges, they put the metal squares around yeah. and suck all the water out? Yeah. So what do, what do you do? You just do it for fun, or what? We clean it. We, we go around cleaning. So our main reason we do this is to clean out the rivers. But we find guns, bombs, you name it. Do you ever find anything you get to keep? I got to keep uh, Elkhart, Indiana. I got to keep uh, Blackhawk. It was wasn't even bad condition. It was just it's so old. They said 1940s. Guns that are 1940s normally don't have numbers. And he said I don't even want to bring it in to be honest. Uh, but then again, like I said, every top jurisdiction it's a little different i know this county you don't get them back well when you find them around here they're probably guaranteed to be murder weapons yeah thank you man thank have you have a good day guys you too take it easy you guys have fun be careful have fun. guys later okay i got something on here what is this <gasps> look at this This is so cool. I don't know what that is. It's like a decoration. It's pretty cool. So I just pulled something out the mud. Jeff. The shotgun barrel. There is, I just got a shotgun barrel.
Come here. Guys, so I just got half of a shotgun. Look at that. I'm trying to find the other half. It's pretty heavy. What do we got? Oh, wow, this is really, oh, it's hit the bottom of my bolt. No way, another gun. Another gun. What the, yeah. Look at that barrel. Oh my gosh, that is so old. Dude, what is this? This has to be like a sniper or LMG or something. Dude, I'm pretty sure that's a sniper rifle. Dude, yeah, it has to, it has, it has a square barrel. I've never seen anything like that. What? Dude, that's two guns. One, two, we found two guns on the kayak today. Oh, we can, uh, look at that, double barrel and a sniper, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hey, Danny! Dude, wh what is that? He's a grenade, bro. Nuh-uh. Yeah, look. I have to cut to your Don't camera, man. Dude. Jeff thinks he just found a grenade. What is that? Let me, uh... Dude, this still has the point, dude. It's like a fire engine. Lower your, like Yo, lo M20. Lower, your mag lower your magnet. Lower your magnet. Lower your magnet. Look at it. Look at it. Dude, that that's either a training grenade top or a real grenade top. That still has the fuse though. That could still make a small explosion. That's what I'm saying. Holy cow, guys. Maybe blow a finger off. I don't know. I've never messed with a grenade like that. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna uh, do? I'm just gonna leave this on the magnet. And, get a uh, get a cup of water or something and put it in. Yeah. Well. Or lightly set it in the water on the shore where we see it. I'm just worried I'm gonna pull this pin out right here, man. See? Yeah, be careful Run taking that door. off. I got a safe door. Danny, step down safe door. Look. I'll show you guys one second. Pull that. Get that off my mag. Got it? Holy cow, guys, look at that. Oh, shoot. Oh. 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 Look yeah. at that. Hold it up, Jeff. Dude. Dude, that's a heavy door. Dude, this is a, yeah, it is a whole door. Look at this. <laughs> that's wow. Crazy. That's not a cheap safe, bro. Alright, so we got something. Oh, we just got another machete. Look at that, guys. That's a white one this time, not purple. That's pretty crazy. Look at that. So, we pull up, well, he pulled up the grenade at the top, I don't know if it's still active or not, but I pulled up the safe door, so it looks like a big sniper, and then a double barrel. Alright, so you know you guys are towing a fine line on uh, violating ordinance of metal detecting and force preserve property. We were not told that past three times before we left. Anything that's on, like this, if it's on a body of water like the state, that's not our property. So like if you were, I don't know if you guys were the same ones that were doing it in the displays like last year. No. no. Okay. There were some people. That's not our property. So our ordinances don't apply to that. Just so you're aware. Okay. They, a, they didn't tell us. We've had three cops come out. We've turned and gone. Yeah. Well, last three days. I'm just saying. I know. I, I was here yesterday and I overheard the part of that one for that. So, just so you're aware. I'm as of right now. I'm not worried about the violation of that. Part of the problem is when you have a potentially explosive device. You well, start running. It's into, a training grenade. It's blue. People I, I can paint stuff, you know? I, mean, I know, I'm just doing... Right. We're just doing a good job cleaning out the water, I mean. Well, again, that's, that's not your responsibility for cleaning the bodies of water, right? Yeah. That's what we do, full time. Okay. That's not your responsibility to clean body, our bodies of water. Okay, and, I understand your bodies of water, but we didn't know that. Like I said, they should have right. been... That's why I'm telling you. That's why it's not big... That's why I'm not making a big deal about, uh, about it. I'm just informing you that. Okay, Forest so preserve property stuff. What's, you, what's you, the worst that could happen? I mean, we're just you, doing a good deed. I mean, roll tickets for illegal uh, metal detecting would it's be not metal detecting. No. It is. It's it's metal detecting in the most basic format. I just would have liked to have been told the first day when we found two, they and then the second, and then the third day. Like they should have. Yeah, because we're just trying to do a good thing. But I, by I know it. that the two guys. I know two of the guys that were affiliated with this are newer officers too, so they, they may not be aware. And it's a fine line with metal detecting because it, really it's the. It's metal detecting at its most basic, right? 
the, the pr primitive, uh, the poor man's one was magnet, pole, string, right? Yeah. Let's stay out of the road a little bit. We're, we're fine. Well, yeah, but you guys are fine, but I don't trust people driving past. Like I said, I, I understand. We didn't know that, like we said, we should have been told that. Uh, that's why I'm informing you. That's why it's not being anything beyond me telling you guys. I mean, is that stopping us? Can we still do it? I mean, we're doing clearly we're doing it for the right reason. I understand that, but the the sergeant's on his way here too, and he was going to okay, be telling would, you the same thing. I would recommend doing or doing this because I was recommended by a subscriber that watches us to come here and do this to clean out the water because he knows how dirty it is and all that. How many murder weapons are thrown in here every day? Because we have different uh, divisions. So the reason we do it is just to clean the environment and find stuff like this and. You know, you said you do it for a living, so yeah, it's fine. how powerful is the magnet you guys use? Um, I'm using a 3800 pound. The sergeant might have a better idea of who exactly you would want to coordinate with that. Or if you say it's like just that. like someone, because I know a lot of places, police don't want us on bridges and stuff like that. So yeah, there's safety some, concerns some, with some that. Some officers need to offer to come out and put their lights on and so we don't get hit by cars and stuff right. like that. Like you said, I'm doing, we're doing it for the right intentions, yeah. but yeah. you just don't want anyone to get hurt. Well, and then part of it becomes, okay, they see you doing it, so people that aren't, don't have the qualifications that you guys do, yeah, try and start it's stuff, it's and it's they don't have some, of the, take some of the safety steps that yeah. you, a lot of the rules are, have to be pretty general, yeah. and we can't be specific per every situation. And then it has to be like a sniper or like a high powered, like maybe a machine gun or something. It'd be like a mounted, like a uh, machine gun from back in the war. You think like a BAR? Yeah, like a BAR or something, like the inside. But I don't know, because that's plastic. I don't think they would use plastic it's like not that. A BAR. Did you guys find the safe that that door came from at all? No. I think I think it's down there because it's something big, but it's not coming out the mud. If if we're gonna be doing this legit, it'd be nice for say since I'm the beat officer for me to know they're gonna be out there in case we get some emergency. I know exactly where your guys are at. If I were doing your guys's gig. I'd, I'd be like, yeah, I'm coming here. <laughs> this would be fairly high on my list of places to check out if I was you guys. I wasn't back to this. Hold on a second. Yeah. No problem. Uh, what you got? Oh. You guys have a YouTube channel? Yep. What's the, what's the name of it? I can get you a business card. Sure. So pretty much, we just go around and clean out the rivers. We do come across uh, weapons and stuff. Okay. All right. And he was telling us about how it's uh, a preserve and we can't get fined and all that. Mm -hmm. Is there any way we can go about they were talking about like, like doing permits or, permits or like working through resource management? Yeah, what I'm going to do, um, you can walk back to my we car. Out. All right, so what uh, I can do, I can give you our department uh, number and, we, you know, so you can uh, get acquire the legal way of about doing yeah, it. I, I mean, I would hate to get fined for cleanup trash. Yeah, uh, give me a second here. Yeah, I just want to like communicate because like I said, I, I wish someone would have told us sooner like when the other cops, but like you said, they're newer, they probably don't know. Yeah, uh -huh. just give us a call, give us a heads up, speak, you can uh, speak to upper management. So in case, you know, in a, uh, 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 a situation like this where we, we, we her grenade we, yeah we go we, we come yep. in cold which putting our lives at risk you know what yeah. i'm saying can you even give you my uh uh work number so yeah, also so uh, we always ask everyone this where do you guys recommend we go next though um <laughs> where do we rec where do you guys recommend we go next <laughs> what's not forest preserve property <laughs> yeah, really, no. I say, uh, i'm sorry if i came off kind of hostile and you know well, nothing was intended that way i don't know, think on either I side know. so but then like some of our areas are not just Cook County Forest Preserves, but they're also federally protected. See? So like, there's our would, level of protection. Never, you would never know that. Well, the sign is usually about that big. It's a triangle. Exactly. So if you, you pulled up here, you'd have to be very lucky to find one. All right. So I just got news from my supervisor. Uh-huh. All right. So um, for my supervisor, until you receive a permit, it's not um, allowed uh, in, in the waterways until you receive a permit. You need to get a permit from IDNR or the Forest Preserve. Well, IDNR doesn't do stuff like that. I know that. IDNR is the waterways belongs to the IDNR. So yeah. either you get a permit from the IDNR or you get it a permit from, 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 from Cook County Forest Preserve Police. Okay. And this is coming from my supervisor. Um, and, and so, you know, 
um, like, like I'm telling you that this, you gotta cease and cease this action right right away. That's okay. Fine. Um, if you do it again, you will be cited. Okay. Yeah, All right. Um, so as long as we have an understanding that uh, you need a permit for, to, to do like you said now i'm just worried that i, I hope any, no one else sees the videos and tries to come yeah because <laughs> well, then they'll get put, cited put, put that warning at the beginning yep yeah. the uh the uh the little thing we're gonna in inventory um everything else you can yeah. barrels and stuff too yeah um <laughs> just stuff in here. It's pretty heavy. i was like where'd that go yeah, it took me a second too it's like one of those uh Games at the bar, we have to find a different. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's my car. Down, Brosky? Yep. Okay, nice to meet you. If you today. don't mind the dirty hands, I'm oh, sure no. you don't. <laughs> hey, thank you guys. You guys are both really nice. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. All right. <laughs> You're going to the wrong car. Thank you. <laughs> yep, take care. Thank you. You guys have a great night. Stay yeah. safe. Right. JJ Gossip. Or something. Dude, you got a, that's an AK. That's a, like an SKS. Bro, what? Take another look at that, guys. That is some type of rifle or Looks AK like variant. Like SKS or something, doesn't it? Yeah, like but SK2 variant. But look how short the clip is. Yeah, I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Go put that in the back of the truck. All right. I'm calling it right now. We're about to pull in a gun. No cuts. Got some good weight on here now. This is a gun. I am linked with this spot through my mind. No way! No way! Woohoo! I have no clue what that is, but that thing is old. Dude, I just called that. I said, if I find a gun right here, I'm linked with the spot. Let's go! It's another Double shoddy. Or no, that's a, that's that's a, a shoddy. Shot. That's a shoddy. Oh. Yes, sir, guys. We are finding so many. All the guns here have been so old. We have not needed to turn these in. These are all way too old. There's not going to be any numbers. And three of them have been like shotguns. Or two of them have been shotguns. That's it. Let's go put this in the car. I called that again. You think it into existence and it happens. That's twice I've done that. Bring the gun over here. It is a shotgun. Let's take a look at these guns side by side. I really think this might be SKS just because of the scope. Yeah. Damn, I didn't notice that. Look at that, two long guns almost in the same spot. His was a little closer. His is way gone. We got two long guns, guys. They're too old to get any numbers off. Clearly this one is really too old. This one, there's gonna be no ballistics on the barrel, just like the solid off shotgun, the double barrel we found. It's too old. This looks like it's gonna be probably like another like early 1900s, maybe late 1800s gun. So yeah. Well, I got some good weight on here. It feels pretty heavy, I'm pulling up. Gun. Gun. Oh, I got a gun already, guys. All right, guys, Danny's pulling up. Dude, that's old. I don't even see any numbers on it. Danny just found an old, looks like an old revolver. Dude, that's how handle. you know it's old and there's no numbers on it. Um, we're definitely gonna turn this one in, I think, though. It's just because it's pretty fresh. It has tape on the handle. Is that cop still over there? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we, we want to walk over there. You want to roll over there and see if he's still over there and flag him over here? There was a cop sitting behind this building, so this might work out perfect. Um, does not look like there's any bullets in it. Cannot see, but we also got like this big old thing right here. So we just got this gun. We just flagged down this cop. We just pulled up this. We figured we'd flag you down. Oh, gotcha. Quickest cop to have seen. <laughs> and we got this big old sheet metal. I think it's part of uh, the old bridge, maybe. I have no clue. I know you're relaxing over there. Yeah, that thing is old as dirt, man. And there's no numbers on it either. That's why I was like, man, that's how you know it's old. Um, what's your name? Daniel. So I know most laws for Indiana is they destroy them, but this one's in really nice condition. Is there any way I could possibly get it back if they, you guys don't find anything with it? I honestly don't know. Um, is there a number I could get? I will give you one, um, okay. and I'm not sure how that works. That'd be a nice wall you. hanger in a um, shadow box. <laughs> yeah, because it is. I mean, it's just junk unless like it was. It's like, pretty clean though. You you polish it up, it's gonna look nice in the box. I'm surprised how clean it, is. it doesn't look loaded or anything. Man, I didn't even think that was it. That's so tiny. He pointed it out. I'm like, what? 
do you just like do you know places ahead of time or do you just kind of i just kind of look on google maps on? like from satellite view and all that yeah. and google view yeah so i know there was a car in there at one point yeah, you can, I can tell there's doors, tires, everything in there. Yeah, is there a number I can get for um, that? I'm, or a report number or yeah, something? Yeah, I'm gonna give that to you. Um, I mean, it's kind of one of the things you just kind of get put in the, I mean, it's yeah. the position where well, you that one, that one, it's given to you, you have to turn it you know, Yeah, that one um, is like, I could see, I could see it being linked to something. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised like if that had a body on it. Oh no, I guarantee everyone that's been with, in the river has. Yeah, went in the river with like some electrical, some electrical tape. tape on it. Um, I doubt someone's shooting that at the range <laughs> with tape on it like that. Or they're storing it in the water. Oh, did you get it to turn? Yeah, it's, it'll spin. Um, you can kind of see through the side. It doesn't, like I said, it didn't look yeah, loaded. Yeah. If, that, if that's where you found it, found it, throw it back there. Yeah, I know. That's smart. I've never seen a cop do that. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Some cops are like, man, I don't have anything to wrap in. I'm like, what about the gloves on your hands? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that way you get all scuzzy. Well, that sucks, but scuzzy. hey, at yeah, least it, no, it, 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 it's, it, like you said, though, um, it definitely probably has a body on it. <laughs> um, you guys have the magnet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have a nice day. Actually, I'm getting ready to go home, so. Oh, well, um, have a nice day. Uh, I gave you that. I'm I got one, I'm just trying to think about the best number you could call to. Like I said, um, I, I kind of figure if all the counties up there do it, they're probably going to do it here. I know Michigan, they don't even want shotguns or rifles because, uh, or, um. I mean, I know here they yeah. don't really do, I mean, there's not much you can do with them, you know. I mean, you could run, you could probably get that the fire gun, probably ballistics is the only thing. Um, but. I, I don't know. That's why normally when they're like a rock, like some of the ones I just yeah. showed you, they don't even want them. They're, yeah. just, no, they're no just gonna destroy them. I mean, thank you for yeah, no, being right there. Yeah, no, sorry, right there. Yeah, if, uh, I, mean, I wish I could just say, here you go, you know what I mean? But, oh no, what, policies. If, what we do is if you find one, you're gonna find another. We normally just hold them off to the end, but the fact that we've seen you just pull in, we're like, yeah, we didn't have to call. flag you down. <laughs> yeah, seen you pulling out too, I was like, oh, perfect. But all right, man, I'm all not right, gonna hold you any guys. longer. You have a nice day. Oh shit. Oops. It got stuck on my hand. Hey. Right there, out that's there. That's that, that's like right where they were. And if I get a gun right now, it's because I threw a messed up throw. Let me wipe my lens off. If I pull a gun in right now, you guys need to start stepping on your ropes. <laughs> oh, there's something heavy right there. That might be the motorcycle. Yeah, I thought that. No, I got stuck on a heavy thing, and it's like right off the thing. No, that's where that one heavy thing is I thought was the motorcycle. Look, it's bubbles. See the bubbles? Yeah, might be a moped or something. All right, so we're going to go and pull up. We'll see what we got. Dude, I got a bag. Dude, another one. Another gun. And a bag. This I one is so, so old, though. You just actually pulled up another Dude, gun. I just called that, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, this is another in a old revolver. This one is old. There's nothing on this Damn. one. It's Let's a break go. action. This might be a bulldog. Yeah, I'm gonna flip it with my phone. Holy cow! That's crazy that I just called that. What's in the bag with it though? Just mud. Hi, Danny. So, dude, I just got a really, really, revolver. really old one. Um, there's no numbers on. This is so gone. This is way worse than the other one. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, oh a safe God. door. Safe door, no way. Oh, man, I can't get it off, though. So. There it goes. Holy cow, guys. Look at that, it's all broken. That was a really heavy safe door, too. So if the safe's out there, dude, it's it's massive. Yeah, and we were finding stuff like that already. Who knows what else is gonna yeah, be Yeah, if, if this is the first big find, guys, besides scrap metal, this spot is gonna be juicy. Oh yeah, we still got this over here. What do we got? Oh, <laughs> dude, look at that. And the sheep and everything, bro. Dude. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> guys, I told you this spot would deliver. <laughs> Seriously, on that safe door. Dude, that's so... Dude, Iron Antler is gonna love to see that. Dude, that is... Dude, look how new <laughs> that is, too. Someone dropped this and was mad. Do you think someone dropped this or stole it and threw it in? Either they threw it in because they were worried about the cops or something. Or they were fishing. Time. I think they were or maybe they were fishing. fishing, yeah. Maybe in a kayak or something. But that's, that, dude, that's, that's one of my huge. best finds, guys. Look at that. It's like, look how big it is compared to my hand and arm. Bro, <laughs> that's awesome. Dude, what? <laughs> a keeper. 
So we got a good connection right here. It's coming up. Oh, this might be the safe. What is this? Is this another safe door? What is all that stuff? Dude, them are all safes. Oh no, that's a post office box. Part, I think. A PO box right here. And then another electrical safe door, digital. That's nuts. Wow, that's crazy, Danny. That's two safe doors. So, what I think this is, I think this is part of like a uh, mailbox, like an old school one, because it's blue. Uh, PO box or a change thing to maybe yeah. the old newspaper box uh, and then another digital safe door guys this one is heavy oh. this is someone's magnet bro it has to be <laughs> oh it really is look dude look dude we just found just found a magnet <laughs> what's that side stuck on though no that's what i'm thinking what is this side stuck on oh, oh. It's a motorcycle, it's a bike frame or a motorcycle frame. Pull. Oh. Here, right. pull this way. Pull this way. Darn it, this rope sucks. All right, one, two, three. It's a bike they were stuck on. There's a bicycle. Pull over the rope, the magnet for the rolling though. Holy cow, that was in the mud. That's old. Where were they stuck at? No, see, they just, they got their magnet stuck and they just threw the rope in. Yeah. Got a good click, I'm pulling up. Dude, I got a magazine. No way. Dude, look Dude, at that. Got a magazine to a gun. That's nuts. Dude, I got a pair of pliers. <laughs> he just got pliers, bro. Look at that. Look, back to back finds. Oh, a gun man. magazine and a pair of pliers. Uh, oh, Danny, check out a little gun. What? Check it out. Dude, Jeff just no got a little way. gun. Dude, what is that? A keychain? Oh, it is, oh, it a, is key a key chain. chain. Look at that. It's an old keychain gun. <laughs> does it cock back? It oh! does. It does. Dude, it what? It still fires. <laughs> Look at that. No way. Well, no, I, I think it was a laser at one point. Oh, a laser? A light. I think it's a lighter. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty cool, That's though. That's awesome, man. Heck yeah, our first gun. I know. Pull in. Shotgun. Oh. What? Danny said he just found a shotgun. No or is that, that's a, is that a beam gun? I can't tell. No, that's a pump action shotgun. I mean, lever action shotgun. Yeah. That's nuts. That thing is old. Holy cow. Just as I was starting to think, I wasn't going to find anything. Um. Well, I, yeah, I think that's real. Fill it. Is that fill? Yeah, it's definitely real. Oh, I got lots of stuff on here, guys. Dude, gun. Holy cow! What? No way! Dude, it's all broke. Dude, it looks like a... That's a that's a big gun. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, we just found this half of a gun. The handle broke off, but it is a Ruger P89. It's insane. Police just showed up. Had an officer stop by earlier in a pickup truck uh, saying we might find a gun. We found two guns there. Any reason why you're recording us? We uh, just do it for personal reason, same way you guys do. Really? Does not even? Okay. I mean, we gotta. That's fine. He'll take him when he gets. Yeah, ready. you gotta report him. I mean, I mean, not really. Not really here. I mean, they're not even fireable. I mean, we're gonna take him in because you found him. I but mean, he's gonna take. He's gonna take him in. We came because we we're down a block. They wanted two of us to show up. Okay. But they're not fireable. I mean, yeah, they were. You so is that like an Illinois law then? Because I know we're. No, I'm, it's not. It's not a law. I'm just saying they're not fireable. Well, you can still get ballistics off that barrel. No. Well, not I, I mean, I've numbers. had people get right, it. Right now, you guys. Well, you guys actually touched them, so it's considered contamination. But no, no. South Holland's here too. They want to look at it. But we had gloves on when we touched them. Yeah. So you should still leave them where you found them. Uh, mark them so we can photograph them in case they were using something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I said, every I, every All county yourself. is different. <laughs> is this us? You know, one into some home. I I couldn't help it. I had to <laughs> had to, had had to, to show up. Yeah, that's the only that's the only thing we found. That the uh, smaller one, you can find another part for the smaller one. No, I wish because that, that's yeah. So do I. That's why yeah, I, that would you could tell it's using something. That's why I said. That's why I was asking. You. I don't want him to hear that because that smaller one. That smaller one with a part to it. That would have been a big help. 
was like, I was like, yo, you got the rest of it, you know? Yeah. I, I don't think I can take a, ID, a, a business card. I can give you my name and address and stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, prefer it's, not to do it. So it's, it's just going into the report as a final thing. Yeah, that that's I can give you my number and all that. That's cool. Uh, name, last name? Fredenberg, F-R-E-D. D-A-N-I-E-L? Yep. Okay. I know, but so we'll probably get nothing. But ballistic-wise, I mean, there's I've had cops get ballistics off guns like that. Not here. You guys only... I mean... I mean it's worth a shot, I mean. I'm just doing I'm just doing it when I do. <laughs> for real though. Yeah, I was trying real. to tell you that. I know I don't want to hear that. You guys have never gotten a call for a gun out the river like this? Ah I'm not sure. I just tied it over here. So. so see it's pretty much a big magnet like here. I'll stick it above this uh padlock. Oh, it picks and up. It just picks uh -huh. up anything. Yeah, so this is like some of our cool finds, a so taser. What's your job do? You just go out and pick Go it. clean out the river. I mean this is all just in the spot. Yeah, we saw you earlier out here. We drove by there. Who was the other cop in the pickup truck? He's an older white guy. Uh, he, he stopped by and asked us if we found anything. He said we'd probably find a gun. Was it South Holland or Riverdale or Dalton? Because we border right here. Oh, I have no clue. <laughs> I, was a, I, I could go back and look at the footage later. <laughs> but was it today? Yeah, today. It would have been South Holland. Yeah, it probably have been South Holland. Okay. One, I banged, I, I banged some of it off with another piece of metal. It was so corroded. No that thing's been down there for a while. So what do you guys do? Just drop drop magnets down in there and then try to grab whatever you grab? Like I said, I told her all this metal in the back is from here. You guys don't drag the entire river. You guys don't walk in the river and drag it, do you? No, but he's scuba certified. I'm working on it. We really? actually try to help some police officers reach out for For stuff. when they dump something? Yeah, yeah cool. Exactly. I think the only marine unit that we have out it, well, our, some of our guys are certified scuba diving, South Holland. That's, that's the scuba. thing, a lot of the police departments by me, they don't have divers, so that's why I, was like, I got to get divers. Yeah, we use They need a diver, wow. but it just fell apart. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay, crazy. You you I mean, that one. then again, like I said, it's been down there so long. Run that past who I told you to run that past earlier. Yeah. Uh, he'll make that decision. Now, you guys clear the guns when you find them, right? Yeah, if they're clearable, we'll clear them. All I'm right, sure. you guys, thanks. Thank you so much. Hey, Jesse, I think that's your mask. Is that your mask or no? The black mask? No. Possibly All right, crazy. guys. Thank you. Well, thank you guys so much. Oh, no thank problem. you guys. I was hoping you guys would have had something. Next time, hopefully, it'll be like M16 or something. Uh, you know, I can't see that we're on camera, but thank you. <laughs> thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> that fills up a good day. You too. Hey, big one. Gun. I just got a gun, guys. Holy cow. Whoa. That thing is insane. Holy cow. Find one. No way. Look at that. It's an old that revolver. Look at that. I Whoa. hope I can get that back. That'd be a good cleaner. Dude, that's sweet. Danny Dip just found this revolt. Dang, dude. Dude, I threw it all the way in the middle and I pulled all the way across. Maybe throw in the middle and pull to the edge that yeah, way. Yeah. Dude. Holy that's cow. That Danny. Awesome, that's what I'm talking about. Good First job. one in Wisconsin. Heck yeah. All right, here's another look at that gun. It is a 357. It is very old and corroded. We're going to call it in here in a minute. Clay actually said I might even be able to get it back on scene since it's so old. The police just showed up. Yeah, it was the okay. one that pulled okay. it out. Uh, quick question though for you. I know yeah. sometimes Wisconsin does allow people to get the firearm back. Uh, it doesn't come out to anything like that. You get the information for it. Yeah, you need the clear. I don't know how it works as far as I guess. We've had a couple of them that we were able to get back right away. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how it works. But yeah, so they'll test it and stuff. If it doesn't come back to you, that might be an option, but I don't know for sure. But that'd be nice. That's my first one found here, so I definitely like it we're as a souvenir. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hey, I'll, I'll get you the complaint number. All right, thank you so much. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember that. We only use that for uh, fire stuff. 
Oh. Yeah. We usually use boxes, I just don't have one, so I'll put it in the box. Gotcha. All sealed up. Last name, Fredenberg, F-R-E-D, E-N-D-U-R-G. Okay. So that's the complaint number of the... All right. Thank also, you so much. Quick question for you too. Okay, so we found the AR that was over there. My wife did. Yeah. I don't know if you heard about that one. Yeah. Found the one here. Where did other spot you think it go to? Uh, I mean, the bridges are probably your best bet. I mean, there's a lot of access in most places, but... Is this kind of a rough area? A little bit, some of it. <laughs> some of it. But, I mean, especially if you get up back in there, it all depends. So. Has anyone else turned any guns in around here for magnet fishing? Uh, I'm I'm not sure who it is. It might be just if you guys have been the ones. I've heard a few calls for it. Yeah. You guys find like the cannonball? Too? Yeah, that was over oh, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cannonball. <laughs> and my wife found that one. 10.3 okay. pound cannonball. Okay. So, yeah, this is, I mean, it's a pretty good spot. There's a lot of traffic here. Like, so the river kind of hits the city a lot. Okay. Cool. You'd probably go just about anywhere. On it, outside of the city, you'd probably not go find much of it. Was it okay calling for that gun even though it was rusty? Yeah. Okay. Dude. Thank you. Have a nice day. Gun. 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 Dude, a gun already, bro. No cow, dude. Get this guy here. No way. Well, that's still cocked back, too. We got to be really careful. That's a... Is that 1911? Yeah, that's a 1911. That's what it looks like. Holy cow, mag's still in it, bro. <laughs> that is sketchy. Um, yeah, that looks like a nine. That's crazy. That thing's been down there for so long. We've been Heck yeah, we're right like here, bro. Five minutes. This man. is literally my fourth find. <laughs> Maybe even third. Oh, it's hissing. You can hear the the air. I'm gonna go yeah. put this by the car, guys. Wow. That's insane. Oh, you got, is that a cannonball on the bottom? Do I get a cannonball? Flip it over. No it. way! I just got a cannonball! Dude! That's a cannonball! He just got a cannonball. Dude! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> god! I'm not trying not to get too excited, bro. I always wanted to find one of those. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro! Bucket oh list fine. Oh my god, fine. bro. This is the excitement we get when we find oh. stuff. Dude, I can't believe I just found that. <laughs> I always wanted to find Pull one. Pull your magnet. Pull your magnet. No way. Oh. Yo, look. <laughs> Man, dude. I'm so happy. Heck yeah. Oh. Dude. It's M16. Oh, are you serious? Dude, that's a Tom is that a Tommy? Did I just find a Tommy gun? Dude, I think you just found part of a Tommy gun. No, M16. Dude, what? That's sick. <laughs> that means the rest of it's in there still, Danny. Heck yeah, Dude, bro. Dude, I'm like, I want to get so excited to scream right now, but we're like in a really bad neighborhood. Yeah, I can't be too excited, man. And I'm telling you guys what, I'm like freaking out, Danny. This, if you guys love these videos that me and Danny film all the time, you guys want to keep making, Make, you, you guys want to keep making these videos, y'all got to hit that like button. Let us know. Let us know down in the comments, man, if you, got, you guys think we make the best team ever. There we go. Wait, slow down. Slow down. Yeah, get this over my head. Keep it tight. Get over there. Get this over my back. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, no one did. What? I got it. Wow, look at this. Stolen motorcycle for sure. <laughs> That's how I had it. I didn't even have it by the frame. Oh, wow. Anything in the bags? Let me pull this off. I can't. I gotta go off this way. Wait, hold it. Hold up. Uh, a little more. There you go. Uh, got it. Got the pipe off. <laughs> Put that off. All right. All right, Danny, what did you just find right here? Man, we've got a motorcycle out the water today. You worked really hard on that, man. We found a motorcycle cannonball. Uh, M16, a handgun, I mean, lots of old relics. Lots Today's of cool stuff. crazy, bro. Okay, so Jeff had this on here. I'm pretty sure this is a silencer. He just threw it in the bucket. I think this is a silencer to that, that gun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the silencer, Jeff. Just doing a little full. Just to make sure. Oh, I got something on here. Ooh, a cash register drawer. 
Oh, we keep dipping our, no, that's an ammo can. I just got to a top to ammo can. I just got a top to ammo can. Cops just arrived. Let's see what they're gonna say about this. I saw you guys pulled this up. That's pretty rad. Man. Oh, you seen it? Yeah, that's what's up. You guys making a video? Yeah, we got YouTube right channels. Oh, that gives you a business up, card at the end. That'd be awesome. Thanks. Yeah, it's another gentleman that. Uh, this is like the coolest call we've gotten all day, so we wanted to check. Oh this yeah, out, no, man. no, it's, it's not every it's day wild. you hear about Magna fishing. No, absolutely not. <laughs> we actually had a couple other guns that were ditched not too far from here, um, but they were uh, in like a briefcase. I'll give you a business card. I'll give you my information. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Here's the business man. card, though. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Check it out for sure. Absolutely, man. I love these videos. Awesome. Thanks, man. Hey, how are you guys? You guys Hello. both from Missouri? Uh, I'm from Indiana. Indiana. Yes. Okay. Do you have a license through there? Like yeah. It's in my car. Okay. No, that's fine. I just, I just, uh, okay, I gotta know the state. Yeah. Okay. What's your middle initial, man? Uh, it's W. Uh, is that the correct spelling on your first it's name? Daniel. Yeah, yeah, I E L. Yes. Okay. And what's your date of birth, Daniel? June 10th, 1997. What's up? June 10th, 1997. Okay. I can take you up where we're going, Matt. And what's a phone number for you, my man? Awesome. Thank you. How long have they been out of the water? Uh, I want to say about 35 minutes. Because yeah. okay. we had to clean up. We didn't want to leave all the metal in the road. Kind okay. Of, so we cleaned up first. Yeah. Are you the detective? Yeah. Were you the yeah. last one from last time? Uh, with the yeah. bag? Yes. Uh, did yeah. that ever come back linked anything? I don't think it did. I don't uh, remember is there any, for sure. You guys destroyed Jeffrey, it? I would have to look it up. Did you destroy it? No, I don't. Five, How long eight, ago two, was that one? Six, we've had about eight months. Because if not, oh. I'd, love to, I'd love to claim it if I could. Let if it's me, not destroyed. Uh, is your name connected with that one? Yes. Okay. I can check into that. Since we're here, yeah. If we yeah. could claim it as property, that'd be nice. Okay. Let me... Uh, how long are you guys in town for? Uh, we were going to go to Rockford next, and then I'm heading back to Indiana, and then he's heading back to Missouri. Tonight. Okay. When I get the information from him, I can go in and look it up real quick okay, and yeah, give no you a problem, call, yeah. all right? All right, guys. The detective is actually getting some water to put the guns back in the water. Hopefully she doesn't fall in. That'll not be good. All right, guys. So we got one undercover car, a regular police car from Freeport, and even the detective out here. They're actually down there getting some water to put the guns back in so it stays in the same stuff that it was found in. So we got Jeff helping them out. Good job, Jeff. Is that a barrel? I think uh, it's a suppressor. suppressor it was right next to it. Oh. Yeah, that'll be enough. Perfect. Perfect. Nice, that works out good. Okay. Well. I'll try to find an order for this if you guys want. I mean, if you don't, if you don't want it, we can if, take it. Scrap yards take it. I'll keep it for a wall hanger too. I mean, it's I nice condition. Ran, I just ran it. Um, in Nothing. Our database, so if we get a response, then I'll, I'll let you guys know. Okay. Otherwise, uh, well, I mean, you can take it if you want. I don't know if the owner would want it. <laughs> I mean, they probably want the car. Car's probably gone. <laughs> yeah, I would argue the car would be more valuable than that. Yeah. I think there's just a squad pickup here. Yeah, it was Rosen seeing you got a call. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't come back to anything, guys, so... Alright. All right. It's up to you. Is it an Illinois plate? It is. Yeah, we should just take it then. Just take it, alright. Just in case, yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay, well, I'll go check that out. Thanks a lot for calling right. us today. Uh, with the frame, it. do you guys want to look at that at all? Uh, I'm pretty sure the numbers are right here. I just can't tell because it's so old. Where do you think they're at on this thing? Yeah. They should but be it's right so here. It's usually where they're at. Okay. If not, we can scrap it. Yeah, I I mean, I don't recall any... Stolen bikes. ...crime or anything like that that we would want to keep that for. There's so. probably some guy, he kind of probably just got rid of it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a good place probably to Probably bought a bike, over. used it, built another bike, right. and just tossed it. Right. Yeah, you can just scrap that one. That's okay, fine. I don't, that's unless fine. you know, unless you come across the VIN, then we can run it. But okay, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna go searching for it. Like okay, I said. it's pretty corroded. <laughs> All right, sounds good. All right, thank, thank you. you so much. I look yep. forward to hearing if that yep. is uh, still I'll go, there. I'll go look and give you a call. Okay, how All about right. how long do you think? It'll take me like ten minutes is all. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Yep. No problem. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank You're you. Awesome. Thank you. I want to say a big shout out to the Freeport Police guys. They are always so helpful, and the detectives. They always want to know exactly where everything is found. These cops actually do their job, unlike some of the ones by us, and I just really appreciate it.
Alright guys, cops are leaving right now. <laughs> we're like, Dude, we t you never know what they come back to, man, because there's a... Uh, these are both of them. Yep, yeah, there's can... yours, and there's yours, my man. Right, thank yeah. you so much. Oh, I appreciate you guys for calling um, in. Yeah, man. no Seriously. problem, man. Uh, you never know. You could, you guys could have found a murder weapon, you know Yeah, what I mean? especially yeah. with the numbers on that. It's not... We found one like that in Julia, Illinois, and we only got the upper. We had the bottom by the clip for the strap of the lower, and it fell back, and we never found it. So no I have kidding. a feeling that was linked to something. Oh, I'm sure, man. Yeah. Like, nobody throws away an AR. Is yeah. there a lot of murders here in this city? Uh, we get our we get our fair, fair amount, share. Yeah, man. most of them are gang related, um, and we're pretty sure the guns that were ditched. Honestly, don't know where it was in the county, but I know it was near the pack. There's more bridges here, aren't? Isn't there? I'm sorry. There's more bridges out here, aren't yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, we'll have to come back then. Yeah, we'll have to come out and help you guys one day. That'd be awesome, man. We yeah. actually maybe I'll talk to the detective now since I'll but, talk to her when she calls me, and we can definitely try to work something out and help you guys find some. All right, man. I'm not gonna hold you any longer. No, What's I appreciate your name? it, guys. Justin. Justin. Yep. Nice to meet you, man. It's a pleasure to meet you, guys. Thank you so much. Yep. There's so much stuff in here. Who knows what we're gonna find over here? Right. Look, we got some electronic right here. Right here, Danny. I don't even know, bro. Like, what is that? I don't even know what to call that. Like, look at that. What is that? I'm not for sure. <laughs> got a can right here. Oh, there's so many cans. Root beer can. Let's walk this way. We got garbage flowing. Look at all these cans right here, guys. Wait, wait, Jeff, Jeff, no way. Dude, Dude. oh my God. Oh, we just found a gun. What? Oh, shoot. Shut up, shut up, we're in a bad area. Oh my God. Dude, that was sticking no out his leaves. No way. Dude, what? Bro, this is my first time actual like canal oh my walking. God. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, no, like, really. Dude, is that a, is that a Luger variant? That has a horse on it. Look at that. Guys, what? Dude, you stirred up the mud. I can't even oh, feel the cans dude, now. Damn, sorry. Bro, there's a whole pile of cans right here, and I just seen this handle sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Man, dude, awesome dude, eye, bro. What? I seen it. I seen that, and then I kind of seen something pink when I pulled it out. I was like, dude, <laughs> this is good weight. Let's set this down. Let's set this down somewhere over here. Let's sit on top of this. All right, guys, so here's another look at this. It looks kind of like a Luger or a Ruger variant. Um, it has a little like dare on there. But guys, this is involved in a homicide for sure or some type of crime. It was all the way out here in the leaves. That's about gun throwing distance from that bridge. And that dam we just had to hop down all the way back there. This all floods. Dude, so this is probably, it probably goes all the way up to there. This is really low right now. Dude, I am so, dude, dude, are you what? glad I told you to come down here? Bro, yeah, we had this spot marked for a while and I'm glad. Look how much trash, we got wow. trash just floating everywhere. This is insane. Guys, so we're gonna walk back to the car because we barely started our journey. We're probably half a mile away, maybe almost a mile. Jeff, how do you feel about that, dude? Dude, I'm shocked that we found it. I mean, I'm not really shocked. I'm not shocked because look, look, look how dirty it is. It's Rockford, Illinois, guys. I am not shocked at all. So we're gonna take this back because it is pretty fresh. The grips are pretty salvageable on it. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in the car for now and we'll turn this in after we're done walking. All right, guys, so the police are just now showing up. Got two officers coming. So yeah, we just wanted to turn to that. We found a couple credit cards as well. Okay. Do the YouTube videos. Oh, what are you guys doing? The magnet fishing? Or uh, yeah. we, we were just walking oh, the canal. We, we do. normally do magnet fishing, yeah. Oh. But we were walking the canal, and that was uh, in the mud and leaves. <laughs> okay. Oh, so okay. crazy how much trash is in the canals there. Is this a? It looks like a Luger or a Ruger, a variant of a Luger. It's like C. Yeah, yeah, it had the brownie MLM on it as well. Do you have a piece of paper? Yeah. But is this uh, the worst part of town? Because we've heard some gunshots in the last like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, This year and last year, no, the east side's probably, I mean, the, the east side's I guess getting worse. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not a good 10 4. It's not a good area. Okay. Uh, well, I, I can see. We found it at the same like, time. Yeah. All, my name's Jeff. So yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. in the water, it was in like the No, it was in the it was in the water in the canal. It's like in the mud and it's at least by some cans. It was like it's been in there for a while. Where'd you guys find it again? It was right over here in the leaves. Like in the drainage in the canal, yeah. A magnet there, a magnet there. Thirty eight hundred pound magnets. Thirty eight hundred pounds? Yeah, we we pulled in a motorcycle frame right there. They let us keep it. It's up there on top of the shopping cart. Yeah, uh couldn't get the pin numbers off it, but Cool. Okay. 
Sounds like fun. No, it's definitely fun. Where are you guys going to next? Back Indiana. to Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> Our trip is over. We've been okay. out for about a week. Nice. Okay. Cool. I'm going to Indiana yeah. to Missouri tonight. Okay. <laughs> Good fun. Yeah, this Good isn't fun. the safest. I mean, yeah. this neighborhood isn't terrible, but. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, time. you find a gun, I guess you're kind of in a bad part of I was going to say, yeah, just uh, kind of an indication, huh? Yeah. Was it okay to call you guys because it was yeah. rusted? And, oh, yeah. Well, one time we found a gun that was way better shape for that. And they, they let us keep it. Yeah, it's 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 all. I think it's like yeah. what I think it has to do with. Them? Yeah, they were mad that we called them. Yeah, I mean this. You know, it's like it. It's not really a gun anymore. It's like a pile of rust. But no, I mean absolutely call us. I mean yeah. especially for stuff like this. It's Every, obviously been dumped there. Yeah, for a reason, like the cops. The cops we dealt with in. Uh, Wisconsin, they're like, yeah, it's better safe to call because yeah. Yeah. every policy is different for every county too. Yeah. yeah, not even just by state. Every county is actually different. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's like crazy. this, it's so rusted. I don't know that we'll get anything off of it. You know, whether yeah. serial well, number. The credit or anything, cards but. right by it too. Oh no, oh, they were all they were all throughout the canal. Throughout right we just figured we'd give them to you guys. Okay. Every time we I find them, we always it. pick them up and yeah. 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 All right. Sweet. Oh. We'll have a safe trip back to Indiana. Yeah. No, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I guess a B roll of you guys. So. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, oh, what a B-roll? Yeah. B-roll behind the scenes. Oh, oh okay. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> We're celebrities now. All right, guys, have a good day. Uh, thank you. You guys stay drive. safe tonight. Thank you. Thank you for your all services. Yes, thank you, guys. Thank you. Have fun. You too. So we got a good connection right here. Feels like it's tangled in something, but it is coming up, guys. Good connection. Gun, gun, shotgun. First throw on the side, guys. Oh, I was just doing this thing. Danny's just found a shotgun. Man, and this is so old. Why are they all like it's so gauge, old, bro. bro? You think there's gonna be any numbers on it? There's no ballistics because it's a shotgun. I don't think the numbers are gonna be on it either, guys. Uh, yeah, that's nice, bro. This was in the mud, as you can see. Look at that, guys. From here to the butt was in the mud. That's nuts, dude. Same size shotgun that got me arrested. Yeah, it is. That's <laughs> nice, man. Holy cow, we actually had a license plate on there as well. Let's take a look at that license plate. Heck yeah, guys, our first gun of today. Look at that, old. Well, we're gonna go put this in the car. Uh, if this wasn't so old and corroded, we'd definitely uh, turn this in, but this is so like, like corroded that there's gonna be no numbers on this and shotguns they can't get ballistics off of so nice old wall hanger and clean up Jeff got the gun Jeff got the gun Jeff got the gun we'll close it'll fall off oh, Jeff yes. has the gun bro dude no way, bro look at that bro dude hey, that's hey. fresh dude, that's fresh dude that is that is a fresh gun look at the tool I got dang oh, look wow. how strong that magnet is no freaking way bro I got this tool in any what is it an ACB I don't know 40 cal or something bro Dude, that's so freaking fresh. All right, guys, uh, I think that might wrap up this video. We gotta go uh, call this in now. Uh, Thanks, Jeff. No freaking way, bro. Dude, I guarantee there's a body on this gun. Definitely a body on it. Here, Holy one second, cow, one second. watch the trigger, bro. You see any numbers? Probably right there. We gotta I do see some numbers. All right. Let's get this to the Dude, car and get yeah, cleaning up. No freaking way, bro. We're gonna get that to the <laughs> car and get cleaning up. Nice, yes. man. All right, guys, just now look at Jeff's gun he found at the end. We did verify it is a Ruger and we found the serial numbers. I cleaned it up as 366-17852. This thing is really fresh. It's either a compact 45 ACP or a nine millimeter. This thing is definitely involved in a shooting, robbery, or homicide with what part of town we're in, not doubted at all that this thing is linked to something. So we're gonna go ahead and get the cops call and see what they wanna do with this. So we got the village of Dalton. It's actually the police department they thought we had to deal with last time. Okay, so what's going on? We got a handgun over here that we pulled out the river. Yeah, if you need any footage, we can email you anything. Like just scrap metal, we just scrap go around metal? pulling out scrap out the rivers, clean the rivers. Okay, you got an ID on you? Uh, Yeah, I can get it to my car. Okay, who recovered it? He did. I did. Okay, actually, yeah. I need your ID too. Uh, this has been my years. second year on this. Yeah, you can close this call out. Yeah. Here's actually a business card as well. Okay, cool. Thank you.
I don't have any today, so. <laughs> so this magnet, okay, so look, I know y'all filming or whatever, but for this magnet, am I able to just pull it apart from the magnet? You should be, yeah. Jesus, this is a heavy magnet. <laughs> it's pretty strong, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, we tried to clear it, we were unable to. Yeah, it's yeah, seized yeah. up. That's what's scary about the, the ones that seize up like that. Sometimes they're fresh, you can just clear, clear them. I'm trying to... I don't know, there's someone in the car. <laughs> She's probably like, this guy pointing a gun at me. I didn't, no, know I, with this one. I didn't know there was someone in the car. Holy cow, that scared me. Yeah. I'm gonna just take it back to the station. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna just take it back. And just cause, yeah. See if I can just put it in a bag. I'll let the detectives and let the evidence let them look at it. Um, so. what's your guys' uh property? Uh, the, <laughs> if it comes back claiming nothing, can we, are we able to claim as our property? Uh, see, that's the thing. I would go to the police station, talk to a supervisor about that. I'm not able to give that type of information. When we find something like this, we just have to hand it over to our evidence tech and our detective mm -hmm. and then let them process it because who knows? We get so many like shootings and stuff out here. That's why I said Some it's probably. Some people just come by and dump it in the river. If it it's is linked mm -hmm. to like a murder, would we have to go to court or anything for it? Um, I mean, you guys, I mean, it all just depends. Right now, it's just a found article. Well, thank you guys for letting me know. And uh, I'm about to load this up. I can't even clear this. Oh. Are y'all gonna put me on YouTube? Yeah, you're gonna be star. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty, well, you guys be safe, okay? We I'm will. I'm gonna get this back because, like I said, you never know. We get so many, like, uh, chases. People, like, uh, we chase them, like, around here. Sometimes we lose them in here. And we they'll just figure right next to that liquor store is probably a good yep, spot. Yeah, and they'll probably just dump it. So, yeah, like, most times, like, when stuff happens, like, South Holland, Harvey, us, like, we're all considered, like, the closest South Suburban. So, we hear something, we all go out and just help each other. Yeah, they, so they had two, two different cities come out. Yeah, basically, yeah. And it's, like, Cal City sometimes. They're depending on sometimes state police to jump in and help us like it just really all depends what's going on because there's so much crime there's so much stuff going on we all are literally helping each other out so well, that's good thank you, you. Safe, okay? dude i got a vibrator i got something i can't show guys bucket list find on the ground oh my god <laughs> I got an actual cash register drawer. I've never found one of these. I'm sorry about the angle. My camera just needs to readjust. I just hit it on the railing not that long ago. But we got an actual cash drawer right there. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything left in here, but hey, that's one of my coolest finds in a while. That's two, two really like, I wouldn't consider this one of my bucket list finds, but this has been one I've been wanting to find for a long time. I got a rope. Has to be. Oh, it's a little magnet. It's two of them. This ain't mine. Someone put two little magnets on a rope and was throwing it out there. He said he has some weight, guys. Dude, what is that? Wait. Wait, a a a. Be careful with that. Don't bang that on the bridge. Is that what I think it is? What is it? Dude! Ooh. That is a bomb! Dude, Look. is that a bomb? Dude, that has to be a bomb or a big bullet, bro. Dude, okay, no guys. Way. Uh, my first one. Dude, my heart's beating out my sister. Oh my god. Here, uh, lower this down. We gonna, we're gonna put this oh lightly in the water and tie it off and call law enforcement. Holy cow, guys. Oh. Dude, that's probably the biggest one we've ever found. That's my first one, dude. You met, dude, I'm shaking so bad. Just right set now. it down lightly in the water and tie it off. Holy cow, oh guys. Well, there's a cop right up the street. I'm kind of tempted just to walk up there and let him know. So we were just doing some magnet fishing. Ooh, we were just doing some magnet fishing down there and I'm pretty sure we just pulled in a bomb. It's tied off to the, <laughs> to the water. Um, I was gonna call that one, but I see you sitting down there. Pulled it out? No, it's still, it's in the, we left it in the water, so it stays at that temperature. How do you know it's a bomb? We pulled it in before. What's that? We pulled them in before. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Like, I, no 
was it found? We found at least, I found over 25 in the last year. Okay, so what do you do with them when you find them? Normally call you guys and you make the decision of what you, what you want to do with that. I mean, normally they call bomb spot, but I don't know if it's live or not. It had a hole in the tip. We pulled it all the way up and then we're like, I don't really tell us to put it back in the water, so we lowered it back down and decided to roll off. So you got it marked? Yeah, it's, it's tied off. Yeah, it's tied to a magnet. Okay. It's on a magnet. I didn't want to take it off or anything. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, well, they're going to make a call real quick, and I'll let you know what they say. Good driver. No, I don't, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's too bad. The snake just caught into the steering column. I can't get it back up. What is it? My snake just caught into the steering column. Like a live snake? Yeah, like a live snake. Oh, boy. So now I guess I don't have a snake anymore. Well, yeah, I don't know, man. That's I've heard of that. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad to come out. Just want to hang out by your truck. Okay, oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll flag you down whenever I hear anything. Alright, sounds good. Hey guys, so the officer just said he'd flag us down when he gets a call back from the other police. Hopefully, they can come and dispose of us the right way. I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 it's a bomb. So I actually just pulled up the bomb right now, which I hate doing, but they actually just took a picture of it. He's gonna send it to the sergeant to uh, make a decision if they're gonna need bomb spot. All right guys, so another cop just arrived. Okay, can we can we pull it up out of the water and then maybe off to the side or something so we can just get it out of the way that way? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they that. have no way of getting to it. Oh yeah, no, no problem. If you feel comfortable carrying it, just carry it over here. That's fine. If you could, well, well, that's that's up to off. you. It's still tied off, so I'm at the. If you feel like carrying it and you're good with it, then have at it. I was kind of used to it, but I don't like. I'm it. not touching it. <laughs> you say I'm not touching better it. Better mine. Better me. Better man than me. I, I love you. life. <laughs> you may just set it in the scratch. Set it right there, see where you can, and you'll be done with it. Put a little bit that's perfect. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Gavin, how do you feel pulling up that explosive, man? Man, it is actually pretty crazy. My first actual explosive, we think it is. Um, it's kind of crazy. My first time actually pulling up a little mortar or whatever it is. Yeah, guys, we actually had to move it over in the grass. He didn't want to touch it. I had to touch it. Man, I yeah, hate touching cop, these that bombs, cop, man. That cop said, oh, I'm not touching it. It was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, but, it was kind of uh, funny. All right, guys, you're making money. Oh, yeah. You're gonna want to shut that off. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get your pertinent, and then we're gonna wait for um, one of our bomb techs to come up, and they're gonna—I don't know—did he tell you what we were doing? No. So we're gonna wait for uh, the military is gonna come down from Grissom, okay, which is about 30, 35 minutes away, and then they're gonna. So we're just gonna basically stay from. I mean. Yeah. No. I. Yeah. We have. You guys are wanting to stay for your magnet, so. Yeah. No. Um, for sure. So the bomb tech's gonna come here and relieve me, and. Like I said, I, obviously you guys want to wait around for your magnet. It might yeah. might be a minute, so I don't. Yeah, no. I, I don't have a. We've waited frame. five hours before, so we we understand. Yeah. How much are those magnets? Um, the magnet's about two two fifty, and but it pulls up to thirty eight hundred pounds Is it? if you can lift it. But <laughs> yeah, how many can? What was your name? Daniel. All right, man. Yeah, you guys just want to hang out, wait, and then once he gets here, he's gonna relieve me, and then yeah, wait no. for the military to get here. That's and go fine. From there. All right. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. you. Thank you. All right, guys. Here's a look at our finds. We found an old hubcap. If you guys know what this is, please to a uh, old to a uh, old gun. First Amendment right. It's First Amendment. What's that? I said we record for documentaries and stakeries and all that, so it's first one. I just oh, I that. He needs if he wants a space blur, no, I don't know I can blur his face for him. Never mind. So Gavin is going to grab the magnet now that the explosive is not on it. Uh, they took it behind this building. The cop didn't want me to record, but it's our first amendment guys, you gotta know that. I offered him to blur his face if he didn't want it. So Gavin has the magnet. We got the magnet back guys. 
Alright guys, so we got a third officer here now. Um, we actually have four officers here, but one is still in this SUV to our left. Um, they took the explosive behind this factory right here. And uh, we just started waiting around to see what's going on and to get a report number so we can uh, see exactly what kind of explosive it was. So we know for next time if we ever find another one. A report number? For what? For just the incident. Why do you need one? Just to check up on what type it was later on. Oh, they won't. They won't release it. It's gonna. It's they gonna won't release that. I've be, had it happen before. Yeah. It's, it's, they won't even. They're not even looking. Up. They're just gonna explode it. Okay. Not, I just figured I'd ask. Yeah, they're not. Sometimes they do research. Yeah. If he tells me what it is, I'll tell you. But I, I it's so corroded. I don't think I remember. Okay. Got myself a nice little, little Tahoe. Got the military here now, guys, with the bomb squad. All right, guys, so the bomb squad just came out here. They got the military back there looking at the explosive. They're probably going to explode it all the way back there. Let's see. Let's see. I was going to say, it looks like in between a 30 and a 40. We found 20s and 30s before, so I knew it's kind of. Uh, they believe it was like 20 to 30, it was like 21 of them. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. We just made it to a new spot. I have my magnet ready in the water, and we were at this spot, guys. You guys remember this? We found a lot of guns here. So with that being said, let's pull our magnet in and see what we can find today. I'm pulling up. Let's see if I got anything on here. First, hey, first throw. Derringer, gun. Swear to God. That's not lying, guys. Hey, first throw at the spot. Fresh. Danny actually just found a Derringer, it looks like. You guys can, can see the tape on the handle. 38 Special. Oh, there it goes. Holy cow. Oh, why do they have tape? Why do they always tape the handle for? That's crazy. All right, so the police actually just arrived. It's actually the corporal officer from our last video in Gary. Yeah, it's pretty fresh. It doesn't look like it's been down there for too long. Was tape on it? Yeah, the tape was on it. Like I said, I couldn't really tell because I know some have it on the bottom of the handle. Do you open it at all? Uh, there should be a little safety thing. You flip it around and then it flips off the barrel. Did you do it? Yeah, it's cleared. Yeah, we always make sure they're cleared. Yeah, you'll see a little grind niche right on the side right there by the top and it fell off. Oh. Daniel, what was your last name again? Fredenberg, F-R-E-D. Okay. Oh wait, it's, it's pretty complicated. <laughs> no, you're, you're already in there, man. Oh yeah, I know, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I was like, man, I hope the numbers are on it because like some of you can get back and that'd be a nice one. But I was like, as soon as I seen they were grinded off, I was like, yeah, that's a felony to have. Yeah. I was like, man, that sucks. Daniel, what else you got? Uh, nothing yet so far. Old parking meter from our last trip and just some scrap mufflers. That's cool, huh? Yeah, no, that's, uh, I'm gonna chop the the post off and I'm gonna put it in my trailer on the desk of the building. Okay. Pretty cool. <laughs> well, good luck. Well, thank you, you guys. Man. Have fun. I appreciate it. Right. Uh, has it has, did that 45 come back to anything that you know of? The one from like a month ago, maybe two. From the two I, I, I didn't get a 45 from you. I got something else from you. That was something else? I thought it was a 45 ACP. The one I got from you? Yeah, the boxy looking handgun. There's another guy that looks like me. Are you sure it wasn't him? Hendricks. I'm pretty sure it was you. Because you're a corporal, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're the only corporal I'm pretty sure I've met. Well, the, the one I ran did not come back. Like, it was not stolen or nothing. Really? Dang, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I just wanted to make sure because yep. you never know. I People know. always wonder too. Like you know, it's crazy I what know. you find there. I know. Uh, can I get a report number for that to check on it? Yeah. Okay. I'll give you one. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I remember last time you guys were kind of busy. And I didn't get the chance to ask. Yeah, it's raining today. You know. 
Happy birthday, 61097? Yep. Okay. Yep, same as same as before. Alright. Do you want a magnet face? No. Uh, you don't want a magnet face? No, not today. <laughs> maybe we'll get you out here in the summertime. Yeah, maybe in the summertime. Alright man, I'll, I'll keep you up on that. Alright. <laughs> Alright, have a nice day, sir. Jeff has a bicycle. How'd you wrap it like that? What? I don't know. <laughs> Here, grab it now. As you're pulling up, I'll grab it. Jeff has a bicycle stuck to his rope somehow. <laughs> Dude, this is how not I how you're that. supposed to magnet fish. How did, how Jeff's did magnet fishing that? in a whole new way. <laughs> that thing is so old, Jeff. I know, it's an old 10 speed, man. Dude, I've never seen anyone magnet fish like that. I know, man, that's, cool. that's sweet. What do we all got on here? So, we got this piece of rebar. We got this weird looking pipe. Oh, look at that. Look who's coming out. We got a buddy coming, trying to come out. There he goes. Let's flip him over. Say bye, Larry. Whoop. Let's keep hitting it on the ground. Maybe there's something else in there. Pipe kind of looks weird. This is a gun. This is a gun. There's a there's a crawdad in this gun. Look at that. All right, Danny just found a chopped up gun barrel. I'm pretty sure that's a gun barrel. Yeah, that's definitely a gun barrel. That looks like where the site used to be. It's all messed up and buggered up though. Hopefully we can find the rest of it. I have no clue, man, but that's insane. Crawdad was living inside of a gun. Pull up slowly. Yeah, that's a gun. All right, guys, I just found a gun. Dude, you always catch them by the, the tops. Pull slow. Dude. I can't believe we just found a gun here. Yeah, is this? We've been fishing for about 30 minutes. Oh wow, my. it's a BB gun. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, man. Look how light it is. Oh, Dude, man. man no it's wonder. so cool, though. No wonder it was barely hanging on. Dude, that's a wall piece right there. Oh, no, that's still awesome, though. Doesn't work or anything, but. <laughs> hey, nice hey, wall piece, Jeff. Not bad. My first gun today, man. First gun today. Yeah. Guys, Jeff has a bag. Is that a bag? Yeah, it looks like a bag. I think he... Dude, it's a gun! Oh, it's there's a, a handle! Gun. What? No! Gun, no, no. Way. no freaking way! There's Dude. a gun in a bag! Pull that off! Holy cow! Dude, what? what? <laughs> oh, look at the size of that! Dude! Oh, man! It's a snub nose! Dude, what? Wow. No freaking way, bro! Dude, what? <laughs> oh, man! Holy cow! Man. Oh, oh. Dude, I seen that grip, dude. That's a big oh. snub nose. That's pretty old. Oh, shoot, dude. Keep it pointed down. Holy cow. Dude, that is so old. Look at that, guys. Yeah, I guess I would say with the arrow we're in, we should definitely turn that in. Yeah, dude, I can't believe I just found a snub nose. <laughs> dude, that's freaking... I always wanted to find one of these, bro. Dude, I've never found a big snub nose like that. No, that's insane. I don't Holy even know what caliber cow. that is. You gotta stop. Where's he going, Daddy? I have no clue where he's going. How you doing? Good. Wasn't sure if you seen us or not. Man, it's I right here. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Well, I, I mean, I kind of figured uh, you guys knew exactly where we were. Five for nine. Bro. It won't be us we're talking. It'll be another agent. That's that's what we thought. We thought it was the other city, right? But it's Riverdale. It won't be a city. That down there is neither one of us. Really? What, what is it? Ten four. Can you guys have a location out of the cow park? Ten four. They got it out the cow sag and they standing right here on the street. All right. So in a few minutes, let me find out what's going on. I'll let All you right. Know. No problem. Thank you. Anytime. Jeff. How do you feel that we might have to deal with Horace Preserve again? I'm not really looking forward to uh, having to deal with them again. Last time they gave us a hard time, so we'll see what happens when they get here. What? The 
I guess he needed a power now. He's about to overdose, bro. There's some guy like he's, just like, yeah, he's fa out he's, he's high on something. He keeps falling to the ground. He's probably about to overdose. I don't know what he's on or what, but he was laying behind your car. Yeah. You walk through it all the time. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure you knew. I seen him when he went down right here. Yeah. All right, Jeff. So what's going on? Uh, so right now the police said this isn't his jurisdiction so they're trying to figure out whose jurisdiction this is to get the right authorities out here to figure out who's going to get this gun today <laughs> so we got the state police here now talking to harvey police hopefully they take this gun for us and dispose of it the right way you see it? Yep. yep so is it is, is it considered the forest preserve here i think that the state is over all the waterways. Okay, yeah, because we're down on a forest. But fire. I don't want. I don't understand why they didn't call conservation police. So what did you find? This? Oh uh, yeah. yeah. All right. What time did you find it? About an hour ago now. Four thirty. Well, these ones, with that being that condition, would you rather just not turn them ones in, or? It's recovered property, dude, so. That's why we called, yeah. So, I'm gonna have to take you to our headquarters. And, uh, you guys got licensing, so I can just add you to my report? Yeah. Sorry, it could have been like a really fresh one. <laughs> you all get calls like this a lot, this first one? You get it a lot. Yeah, I think it's so polluted. Yeah. There's nothing, you know, yeah, um, you can find. We get a lot of floaters, though. So. But yeah, there's one found this morning or last night, and they thought it was this missing girl. I ended up being six years too young with someone else. It's crazy. With okay. the state police, all right, just all right. like major. Yeah, I'm the only one here, so you guys right. be safe. Right. Hey, Enjoy yourself. It. it was nice meeting you, know, man. Don't yeah, don't make me viral, man. Have a nice day, sir. Be safe, dude. This. Yeah, it's a. It's not the best part of town. No, it's not. Ah, <laughs> uh, big old stick. What? We got some stuff on here. No way! I just got a pocket watch. No way! Is this considered jewelry? Oh my, look at that. If I never would have came back to the spot, I would have never found this. Holy cow. That thing doesn't look uh, cheap either. It looks pretty expensive. I wonder if there's like a photo or something in there. No way! That's what I'm talking about, guys. Just because you're getting nothing doesn't mean you might not get something crazy. That was under the bridge. We're going to keep throwing under the bridge and see what else we can find. We're going to stick that in my pocket because it is a pocket watch for a reason. Let's see what else we got. Someone's fishing set up. Uh, we don't need that. Some more barbed wire. You got to be really careful with this stuff. It's very dangerous. Uh, some nails and stuff like that. All right, guys. So I know this looks a little different, but I just got off my phone with a watch guy. His name is Peter. He's based out of Chicago. And yeah, he fixes watches for a living. He said the watch I have is a Derber pocket watch. And these things were made early 1900s. The company was made late 1800s. So this watch is very old. He actually offered to clean it for a couple hundred bucks. I think he said like three to 500 bucks. I didn't record the phone call because I didn't know if he felt comfortable on the phone. But if he can get this thing working, he said this thing could be five to 10 grand, guys. This has to be my most expensive magnet fishing find ever if we can get it working. If not, I mean, it's still a pretty cool find. He said he's gonna clean it up for about three to 500 bucks. If it needs parts, it costs about 150, 300 bucks. So even like $800, guys, to have a watch that is a part of history that is working is insane, guys. But hopefully we can get this thing working and it'll be my most valued item in my collection, guys. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of it because that is a part of history right there. Ooh, you got a safe already. Is that what that is? I'm pretty sure. I think Jeff just got a safe. He dropped it though. You can get it out the water. I can stick my magnet to it too. Hold it right. Hold it right there. All right, we have some type of box, guys. 
I think. It looks like a safe. All right, we got it. And I got something else on my magnet. Dude, is that an ammo? That's a car battery or ammo. That's either a car battery or an ammo crate. I think it's an ammo crate. Dude, I think it is too. No way. <laughs> it is. It's a full ammo crate. No way. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude, what? Yeah. I wonder if there's anything inside it. Dude, pull, pull that off. I'm going to try to open it. Uh, uh. Holy cow. No freaking way, bro. Dude. I wonder what could be inside it. We might have to bust it off because it's like solid. Oh no! Bro, oh, what? Ugh. I can hold it there. <laughs> oh, it's not opening. Bro, what? Oh, oh, the jackpot! Bro, all this no, brand new ammo. Man. What, dude? Is that get out there? No way! Guys, look, four dollars oh, a pop. God. What? No freaking way. Dude, look how dry it is. This Bro, is it, these are 22s. No way. We hit the jackpot. Nah, hey, I got some nine mils, bro. <laughs> Free ammo. <laughs> Bro, Jay, what? <laughs> Dude, we can uh, use this. That's my first cast too here. Can I have the nine mils? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Dude, right. they're more hollow tips. No freaking way. Look at all these guys. Oh, no, they're not. They're what's it called? Oh, man. <laughs> Let's pack this stuff back up and keep going out, guys. <laughs> This thing's been out for a long time, man. This ammo. Bro, what? How's it dry? Because they're that's why they make them like that for the army. Really? Hey, we gotta package this stuff so it all fits in there. No freaking way. Dude, three eighties, bro. I know, guys. I mean, I've never found anything like this before. <laughs> all right, let's get all this. I'm gonna take this to the car. Oh, uh, any more? Do you see? Oh, dude, there's a twenty-two. Bro, yeah, here, I'll take it to the car. All right, so Danny's got to pack everything up and run everything oh. to the car. Oh, here's my keys. <laughs> what the frick is going on? Pulling up. Uh, I see something dangling off the bottom of the magnet. No way, dude. Holy cow, guys. Uh, not this again. We just found uh, a grenade with no top to it. No hole in the bottom. Uh, yeah, um, I think we're gonna have to call us in. I'm gonna make some calls. Yeah, that's sketchy that there's no top on that. Uh, Cause there could possibly still be uh, a charge on that, but there's no hole in the bottom. So that is not a training. Man, that's sketchy. Um, let's go ahead and uh, set this down, I guess. You know what? We should actually uh, lower it in the water and tie it off. That's what they told us to do last time when me and uh, Gavin found the last one out this way. And that's what we did when we were down in Kokomo and we found a uh, ordinance. Oh man, guys, this is sketch. I do not like doing these videos like this. <sighs> Grenades are one of my least favorite finds, guys. Well, we're gonna have to go over here, make some calls, and hopefully uh, they can let us know if it is live or not. How are you doing? I went and took a picture just in case. It's missing the, the whole top part, but it's a pineapple grenade. It doesn't look like it has all, it's hollowed out on the bottom. I lowered it back in the water and tied it off so it's the same kind of the water. It's got the pin in it? No, the pin's missing. That's why I was worried. Normally when it has the pin, I'm like, okay, at least it's not, you know. Where's it at? It's in the water still tied off. From this side? This side, right where the rope's at. Guys, I apologize for the shake, man. I always get shaky when I find bombs, man. It's not something you want to find. Surprised they didn't shut down the bridge yet. They might not think it's active. I think we got another cop coming over the hill as well right now. I think they're getting ready to block off the street. So 
guys. We got an undercover and three police officers now. Uh, I don't think it's live, which is a good thing, but you're better safe than sorry. Was it, uh, is it considered live still or? Um, that, I'm not an expert in it, so I really don't know, bro. Yeah, that's so. what I'm like. If you find out, please let me know. I'd like to know. Just okay. for next time, if it is. Okay. I don't know why there's so many. Someone must have just threw them in there back in the day. So from what I hear, uh -huh. it was some kind of, I believe Ripley was a, um, a route for military transport. Really? From what I hear. Maybe going over bumps or gravel, some of the stuff falling off of it. You, you just never know, man. Back in the day, the roads weren't like they are now. Right. Yeah. So, so. You, you just never know. All right, so you have a good day. All right, you too. Is that considered still alive just for next time? This one's hollowed out with no fuse in it. It is the, hollow. I couldn't tell by the bottom. The top, the top. There's nothing in the top. I, I just wasn't sure if it, you know, just like came apart over time or what, but you yeah. know. But there's, uh, there's nothing in this one. Should I still call them in, or if they're like yep. that, just just call us in just to be safe. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Just gonna pull up. We moved down a little bit. I got some stuff on here. Gun! Holy cow, I just got a gun, guys. Holy cow, it's fresh. Fresh gun, it looks like a Glock or Smith & Wesson. No way! Holy cow, guys. Oh. It does look like a Glock. It is a Glock, my first Glock, guys. Heck yeah, <laughs> dude! Yeah, Glock. I mean, that's like an $800 gun. Oh, loaded. Oh, loaded too, is that 40 cal? It is cleared, guys. You can see we just cleared that gun. Dude, no, this is this is the one I was gonna buy. This is a 43. <laughs> or 36. 45. Oh, I got a Glock! I Dude, what? <laughs> First Glock that we found magnet fishing, guys. Dude, that is sick. Holy cow, dude. We just got a Glock, guys. If you guys don't know about guns, a Glock pretty much, the only thing magnetic, if I can get the mag out again, is not even the magazine, actually. The bullets, you might stick two through it. <laughs> I doubt it. But the slide and the barrel and all that is the only thing magnetic on these Glocks. That is insane. You guys, here's another look at the Glock. It is a 36, it's a uh, 45 auto. Them are some big caliber bullets, guys. This thing is really fresh. And the numbers are still on it, so we are going to go ahead and call the police and see what they want to do with this. How you doing? Yeah, it's a Glock. It is loaded. We did pull the mag out and check if there's one in the chamber. No, Glock. <laughs> how you been? I'm good, but how are you today? I've been great, man. We finally made it back in this area. I've been up in uh, Milwaukee and Michigan, Detroit, everywhere, really. I'm off to it. You guys have fun. All right, have a nice day, sir. All right, guys, I had two more cops arrive. Just cleaning the firearm. I got that ID whenever you're ready to as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, we, it's not opening, yeah, that's why. Yeah, we checked. We checked if there was one in the chamber. Yep. Thank you so much. No problem. How's you guys day been today? Good, good. How about yours? Well, good now. I mean, <laughs> found something exciting. I mean, the only other thing we found was like a bag with like stolen drill and a pocket knife in it. Other than that, just lots of bikes and scrap. Now, if that doesn't come back to anything, is it possible if I can get it back? Yep. Nope. Nope. <laughs> he said that fast. <laughs> he said that fast, yeah. Well, I'm just asking because last, try, I've, I've, I've gotten some back before. Oh, really? Yeah. Very rare. Sir. Thank you, gentlemen. That, okay. Then we'll know, we'll so we'll give him a. I just want the case numbers. We'll give it to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, no problem, guys. Thank you so much.
every day. What you need? Case number to check up on it. Just because the viewers and all, I always like to know if it's ever linked anything. You got a, you got a pad on you? Oh, this is good. Small frame revolver? Yep. Was that you? Yeah. Okay. Here's yeah. that for you. All right, thank What's you so much. What's your channel? Danny Dip, and then his is Danny Outdoor Dip. Influencer. Yeah. Indoor Influencer. Yeah, check it out. Hey, Danny Dip? Yeah. Never outdoor had. Influencer. We, but no, guys, thank you guys so much. Yeah, no problem, no problem. So we're pulling in. What do we got on here? No way, we just got part of a gun. Holy cow, that is old. That is a shotgun right there. Wow. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is a shotgun. There's the trigger. It's like the framing of it. There's gonna be no numbers on here. Holy cow, guys, we haven't even been here five minutes and we already found a gun. Who knows what else we're gonna find here? That is insane. This has to be hands down the oldest shotgun I've ever seen, guys. Like there's barely any triggers that, I'm just amazed that we found this already, guys. Like I said, we have only been here probably five, 10 minutes and we already found a gun. Well, at least part of a gun. Double it. Oh, I think I got another can. Okay. This can is all types of beat up. It's still in contact though. Another Budweiser can. So there should be, my math is right, there should be another Budweiser can in there, at least one more. We can make a six pack, that would be nuts. And then we got a nail, a ring, and what is this? No way, I just got a couch up. Oh my gosh. I just got an old relic. It's a cow trap. No way. No way. Guys, so if you don't know what these are, back in the day, there used to be like wars. There was none around here, but back in the day for the wars, they would throw these down. So if you step on them, you would break your, your foot, your heel of your foot and mess up your foot. But apparently the sheriffs back in the day used to use these by old bridges and stuff like that. So when they're chasing people on horses back then, they would uh, go over the bridge and these would be all layered in advance out there for the robber to have their horse step on it and it'd break their hoof so they could no longer use the horse to get away. Dude, this is history right here. This is history and the... I, 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 I just can't even talk guys anymore. This is just history, but who knows? Um, maybe we'll find more here. I can't wait to get my magnet back in the water now. I think this is something else. What is this? What is this? What do I got on here? What the heck? That was like a wire. Oh, is this for like a tow truck? I think it is. Let me pull this magnet off. Ah! Ooh. Mother. Ah! Mm. I just got stung by a wasp, a big one. Ah! Ah! He like got me three times. Oh my gosh! He got me there and there twice. All right, guys. Here's that tow truck like winch-looking thing. You guys know exactly what this is called. Let me know in the comments down below. All right guys, here's the aftermath of that wall sting. Never been stung by one that felt so bad, guys. And then I actually like cut my leg running and hopping over this wall on that side. It's so jagged and nasty. I got something on here. Hey, I got a bag, but I'm stuck. I think I got a gun. Come here, hey, Elijah. I think, I think I might have a gun in here, guys. Hey! We got a gun in a bag, guys. I'm gonna come down there. We gotta go down there, guys, now. We just got our first gun of the day. 
All right, guys, so we are going to go ahead and make sure there are no numbers on here and that this is old enough to keep because you don't want a gun that's fresh and might be involved in something. Oh, dude, this is gone. That is definitely a 1911, right? Oh, yeah, Dude, that certainly. is old, way older than I thought it was. That's been in there, no magazine in there. Don't know if there's one ahead, so you gotta be very careful with this, guys. But that thing is definitely something to soak up and keep. Maybe if there are numbers, I will call the local PD and see if they can run them, but they're not gonna even want this. Well, good day of magnet fishing. Well, here's another look at this old gun, guys. This thing is really, really, really old. So much stuff here, guys. A lot of it, it's like, immediately. it's like all in between the rocks too. This is my first time that I've been here before, a long time ago. I've never used Pull it. up. Gun. No way. Seriously? What? And there's no numbers on it. Bet I get to keep this one. Dude. That's like, what is that? Is that 1911? Yes. There's no, no numbers way. on it. The numbers would be like right here or right here. Dude, we just gotta go. Like, you know, we'll be here for like two minutes. Oh, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, there's no numbers on it, so I'll, you see where they were. They're either there or right here. They're not there. Wow. Frick yeah, second 1911 yeah. in less than three weeks. I know. <laughs> awesome. All right, there's just a frame that Jeff had earlier. There's the frame that Jeff had earlier. numbers on it date manufactured like, oh no they are engraved i found this frame before They're right here so yeah we'll definitely call this in oh yeah there's the vin numbers right because we're in the middle of nowhere and right here too yeah perfectly legible too yep right there and right there guys yeah i think we should call it in once we're done now Right, guys i threw under the bridge i'm slowly pulling it in i'm getting a couple connections the only thing that sucks is like this is really good for double size but i mean the 360 360 degrees so dipping around let me dip towards you jeff no the jeff's little pile you got going jeff has a good click that's gonna pull us low Ooh, yeah oh oh i just got a good click straight down dude wow. a gun no way, dude. That thing is old. Dude, that is old. Dude, that was under the bridge. <laughs> There's the mailman. <laughs> the mailman just showed up as we found the gun, dude. What is that? What brand is that? I have no clue. Never seen that. That's old, dude. It was probably thrown off the old bridge. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. It looks like a 38, maybe? Guys, that looks like a, uh, no, it looks like a 32, maybe a 38, but I have no clue what brand this is. If you guys know, please let us know. This thing is so old. If you guys look right there, there's an old bridge that used to be here next to that loading dock. I guarantee this was thrown off that back in the day because it was underneath the bridge. That is insane. I wonder what else, oh, this is probably what snapped to the magnet. Oh yeah, door hands. This hand. door hands are strong as frick. <laughs> and we got a cream soda bottle cap. Didn't you find one then? Yeah, found a bunch of those. Some nail. Oh, what? What is that? Oh, a fishing, uh, bow fishing arrow tip. Oh, it is. Yeah, we found a bunch of those today too. But guys, that's nuts. Uh, well, <laughs> we love that. We just literally found that. <laughs> so I mean, I guess we got two things to call in this gun. If I was, if I was anywhere else, I'd, I'd just keep it. But uh, I'm out of state, and I don't want to travel across state lines, multiple state lines, with a firearm. So we're gonna go and turn this in and see if they can possibly tell us if this is a stolen motorcycle frame. I think what you're hooking on over there is the rest of the motorcycle because it is very heavy, like a uh, car engine or some yeah. type of car engine. Yeah. It's definitely something heavy though, but man, oh, nice Dude, man. awesome man, skeleton key, bike frame, guns. I mean, random pieces of- I gotta take a picture with this. All right guys, so we got Charles County out here. They just got here. Let's see what they're gonna do with this stuff. Well, we pulled in a motorcycle frame and we think the whole thing is down there. And there's something big and then we pull up a gun like maybe five minutes later <laughs> so and then we found a whole bunch of shell casings scattered all over the bridge and shells yeah. not sure if you guys want them i mean i just i'm from indiana so i don't want to travel across right. state lines with it oh you're fine i mean i'm sure this is it's pretty crazy 
I don't even know what brand it is. I've never seen that design on the, the handle. It's an older one for sure. I know that old bridge used to be right there. That's why we came to this spot. Yeah. It was like right underneath this bridge, so it must have got thrown off that old bridge. Where I'm missing, see if it's... You think the, the rest of it's down there? Yeah, yeah no. So we were getting there, down there. Unless it's a vehicle, <laughs> like a car, it's about as heavy as an engine. One Henry David, one boy, nine young, one one, two young, zero seven, six four, eight two. Have you guys found anything else cool? Uh, just a scrap that's in there. We got a couple bigger things. Just tell you how to get in the truck. Gotta make some room. Have you guys got calls for magnet fishing before out here? Uh -huh. We Harley Davidson, Adam Five. Okay. Yeah, but 2002 Harley. Stolen? No. Good no. van. <laughs> well, well, so that. you're good there. I don't know. <laughs> maybe someone just did. Somebody. Maybe it was insurance. So who knows? Yeah. Insurance fraud, probably. There you go. <laughs> right. Well, we'll we'll take Man, it to the scrapyard. <laughs> This, I don't know. This is like insane. You guys have any tools where you can knock some of this stuff off, you think? Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I I doubt we'll get a serial number off of this, but. Probar. I don't want to knock it off. I don't want to break it. <laughs> I'll let you do it just because oh, it's. I it, it might be evidence, you know? <laughs> no, it's. I don't want to destroy the evidence. <laughs> I don't think there's any. <laughs> I don't think there's any left of it. As soon as I start seeing that cylinder with that hole in it. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. As you guys can see, he banged a lot of that corrosion off. I mean, that's not the way I would have done it, but I mean, it's pretty uh, old, as you could say right there. Look at that. All right, guys, as you heard, the motorcycle is clean. It's a 2002 Harley Davidson. He's looking up where the numbers would be on them older revolvers. I have no clue, but man, Jeff, is that the way you would clean a gun? No. <laughs> I don't think that was safe at all, but hey, it's all he knew what he was doing, apparently. Because the old Colts have a Colt. A different, a different right. logo? Well, they have this, they have like a same like logo right Similar, here, yeah. but it's a Colt. Yeah. Wood? Uh, no. No? So it's, it's not 1800s. So it's not 1800s. Plastic. Well, there. You guys got your paperweight. Awesome. Oh, I can keep it. Yeah. All right, bet. Oh yeah, man. I, don't... <laughs> I haven't got to keep one in so long. So there I'm you like... go. No, we don't need it. I can't get the serial numbers off of it. All right. Thank yeah, you. That's Thank it's you all right. so much. Nice yeah. to meet you. You guys right, from where? You. Indiana and Missouri. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You just drive around and do this. Yeah. All over the country. Yeah. Okay. His is outdoor influencer. Mine's Danny did. Yeah. Check it out. YouTube. Yep. yep. Everywhere. My son's probably watched you. Or we watch all the time. Well, let me get my picture with you so I, he might know you guys. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right, guys. Appreciate awesome, it. Man. Catch you. All right, all right Thank guys. You. Have a nice day. No way. I got an old gun, guys. An old gun. This is freaking nuts. Holy cow, and there's gonna be no numbers on that. That is a keeper, holy cow. First gun of the trip, guys, fifth, sixth throw. That's absolutely insane. Holy cow. This is nuts. Holy cow, it's how to go put this in a car. All right, guys, I'm going to have to blur it out, but it looks like there's a uh, dead animal in the water. So I definitely cannot be touching my face here today until I clean my hands. Can I pull up? No way. We just got a gun. Holy cow. I don't know if it's real. Oh, yeah, that's real. Um... I think there is numbers on this. But it's a shotgun, I think. Or, no, this is a rifle. Oh, uh, I don't know. This might be a BB gun. Not too sure what this guy is. This might be a BB gun. 
Yeah, there's something straight in front of me, but I got something on the magnet already. That's why I can't get it. Pull up. What the heck is this? Guys, we just got two guns on one throw. We got two guns on one throw, guys. One being a toy. One being a toy gun, guys. And one being a real one that's way too old to turn in, guys. What an insane find. It is clear. But guys, we just got two guns on one throw. <laughs> a toy gun and a real gun. That's nuts. We definitely got to throw off here again. I told you guys, we would definitely find some cool stuff here. We're gonna set that like right here. So I looked over the firearm a little more. I actually did find numbers on the handle down here. So we're gonna call local PD because I do not need this in my possession with numbers on it. Now, if that was completely corroded, I would keep it for my collection, guys. But if you ever find a gun that has visible numbers, even if it's just one number, call it in, turn it in, guys. Do the right thing because this could potentially solve a crime or maybe even a homicide or something, guys. You never know with these older guns. All right, guys, there's the bridge we were fishing today. We're actually over here just waiting for the cops. He just drove past undercover. He's going to turn around. Well, guys, so I just actually called back the non-emergency number because a couple cops drove past, as you guys seen, and I waved them down. They didn't stop. Turns out there was actually a shooting and someone actually got injured and they're in the emergency room right now and that's why they drove past, guys. But we are waiting. Hopefully they said in the next 20 minutes. Guys, so we actually have the news out here right now looking for the people that were involved in the shooting. Another cop just drove past. Clean the bottom of the handle. Yeah. There are numbers on it. That's okay. why I was skeptical Man. on keeping it because normally when they're that old, they just let me keep them. Yeah, that's... But that is that is old. Probably tossed off the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ever get calls for magnet fishing before? Uh, a couple times, yeah. Not really super often, but more in the summer. But, uh, uh, not for guns. Usually like bikes and stuff. Well, you are. Oh, yeah. so like nothing serious. I got three bikes in the back of my truck. <laughs> nope. And you can see the numbers. Like normally they, I, I live by yeah. Gary, so they say if it's like that. And you can't read the numbers, just keep it. Yeah, because you can't it's read just, the numbers, I wouldn't care, but it's... You give yeah. Do uh, you think this is a 38? Oh, uh, that might be a 38 or a 40. I can finally say I pull up two guns at once. <laughs> <laughs> Even though that one... Is it a paintball gun? It's just a toy Nerf gun yeah. or something. It's funny, though. 66, 1029's on that 64. I thought it was something like <laughs> Unknown make, it's a revolver, probably 38. Seal number is 44 Sam 213. Okay. No, it's not stolen. It's still got to be processed then? Yeah, if there's a serial number on it, we got to take it, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah I, was, I figured most co some counties are different, some states are different, you know. Yeah, it's. We we do a lot of paperwork in this in this city. Yeah, I believe. So we, uh, we document literally everything. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it's got a serial number on it. It's got to go. I'll That's just fine. I'll get a report number and yep, I can I'll get your report number real quick. All right, thank you. Yeah. This is the wrong guy to talk to. One of our sergeants actually magnet fishes. Really? Um, but he doesn't do it so much here. He does it more um, like in South Bend, Mishawaka. So um, we know some spots. I've, I've always yeah. been told by my like subscribers and followers to go there, but it's always shallow wherever I go. Yeah. Um, if you could give me give me his information, I'd like to take him out fishing. I'll give him your business card. He's working today, oh, so I'll okay. give him your Perfect. business. There's yeah. this little thing. Here. Well, it's Danny Dip D A N I D I P on literally every platform. Everything, fantastic. Yeah. That's my seventy third gun. So, Jeez. yeah, I didn't, and that's You're only in two years. Jeez, that's a lot. Yeah. Here's a report number. Perfect. Um, it's gonna go in his found property. I don't know if our evidence will do anything else with it. There could possibly be ballistics on the barrel, but that yeah. one's pretty good. At this point, yeah. who knows? And if they have a gun and they're being chased they're by us, they're going to throw it in the water. Um, so pretty much more populated areas where people usually tend to run on foot. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right, you too. All right, guys, that was an insane year we had this year. So many guns, so many bombs, so many memories. I can't wait to see what 2023 holds, guys. I'm so hyped. We got the van now. We're going to be going on some crazy road trips far away. But we are reamping the website at www.dannydip.com. We're going to have limited drops of merch, guys. So you better make sure you cop them before they sell out. And on the homepage, we're going to have a donation tab. For every dollar you guys donate, we're going to pick up one pound of trash. 
And at the end of all the videos, every month we're gonna do it, we're gonna have the top donators on the end of the screen to shout you guys out and show some love for you guys because you guys show so much love and support for me. I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. But with that being said, guys, until next year, peace out and have a wonderful day. See ya.